else Yo! you want to ask? Oh, you want to get into some drama? How did Joe Shelley not sit down on his console and play the game like, wait a minute, I have no bank space to put my shit in? Healy in its current state versus Diablo 4. If you had to pick one, and the other one game. gets deleted. He's the guy who turned on his bot on his stream and then fell asleep on the panel. <laughs> and then he woke up like 10 minutes later like, oh, shit, I'm still streaming. Yeah. What's up? Yo, 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 yo. Mm -hmm. But we talk about things that we care about, but chat doesn't care about them. Although, what the... F yeah, so basically, we try to avoid doing streamer talk um, because it's a, it's a, it's a pitfall. But no, fuck that. Fuck chat. No, fuck chat. We want to do streamer talk what and talk fuck, about What the fuck is a streamer talk? It's just whatever. We're just like dudes talking, right? Hanging out. Whatever. Like, we can talk yeah. about whatever you want. I don't care. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Wait, yo, wait. Anything? Anything? Anything. Anything. I mean, as long as it isn't too, like, like we're not going to dox each other or, like, you know, leak anything like that, but I don't care. Okay, hear me up. Ziz has, has told us he's uh, got a 23 centimeter cock, fully erect. Impressive. So, um, like, uh, what are we talking about? Dick size. 15? Hey, that's a reasonable size. I'm pretty sure we got really yeah. similar sized dicks. That's erect, right? I'm not complaining. <laughs> hey, that, dude, that's, that's, what you're going to say, you're footing right in the, the bell curve. You're like, that's, like, every dude should be, should be around 15. You know, that's, sure. that's pretty much, you know. Just totally believable as well. Uh, but yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, badass. Wait, so you have an accent, and then you've got dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. I always saw you from some exotic place, but I've never, like, I, I don't know if you're, like, living in some sort of Caribbean place, or... No, I'm know, from Hungary. I've spent most of my life here, slowly getting rid of the accent, hopefully. But, uh... I'm just not a fan of Hungarian accent, but wait, yeah, I've, I've lived here my whole life. Yeah. So wait, that, that's is that a city? Could you or, could you point that out on the map? Thanks for you the think? good. Uh, I think I can. Wait, let me. I'll try okay. to put it out. I'll try. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna leave the fucking rift. I don't want you to rip. Please don't tap out while you're in a dungeon or whatever. I'm I don't want to be I'll responsible. I will TP. I will TP it down. <laughs> Okay, uh, world map, uh, no labels. All right, here we go. I think I can do it. Okay, what the fuck is that, bro? Here we go. Hungary. Wait, can we just confirm? You can you tell me, mm -hmm. is it a city or a, a country? It is, in fact, a country. It is a country. When you ask me where I'm from, I don't tell you the city. <laughs> I, I thought you might, country. well, I don't know if you're being specific and be like, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm from Wong and Yui. Okay, know, like, okay. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Confirm. okay. Well, I know you're on EU service, right? Mm-hmm. So that means you're like EU, and then I know Hungary is like not like some ultra wealthy one because all the wealthy ones are over here, right? Then I know you're not in mm -hmm. Russia, so you're gonna be down. But then if you go too far down, then you're in like this place, which is. And let me just confirm it. Wait, this is. Wait, where the fuck am I? That's Iceland. That's UK. It's like Norway. Africa is also EU servers, by the way. You know, it's the same kind of line, so it could be Africa too. Yeah. Okay, so that's Africa, right? Okay, so this one is Africa because that's Madagascar. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. So I'm thinking, yeah. And then this part here is like deserts and shit. This is like egypt mm -hmm. i'm thinking you are not in russia but you're not in the rich part either you're in this part here i'm thinking this wiggly boy right here this one you're pretty close actually a bit more uh bit more west but yeah i'm close wait that's oh wait it's in washington I mean, wait <laughs> close is relative <laughs> <laughs> wait wait, wait um, is that the black sea wait why are they drawing like a fucking bit of land bro they need to make it blue or something okay so this one yeah this map kind of sucks for like Distinguishing water from land, but uh, wait, or is that water? Yeah, it's again, it's even more. It's even more west. Okay, here, here. This wait, no, 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 no. That's gonna be Greece or something, right? It's a small. That's one. gonna be Spain. It's a small one. This okay. map really sucks, but yeah, it's uh, it's like north of Italy, northeast a little bit of Italy. I don't know where Italy is. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. No, it's like, that's what, the this boot. Thing? That's that's the boot that goes to the sea and it's kicking the ball, which is Sicily. Okay. Oh, I see. So this thing. I'm a bit delayed. So yeah, and that's no, the ball. Yeah. No. Okay. Left of that is Italy, and then yeah, not important. It doesn't matter. Close enough. Listen, you, you uh, were like within a thousand kilometers. It's fine. It's a, it's a ten million country, independent, really independent since the 1990s, basically. So kind of behind wait. of all the Western European countries. But does that mean you're Turkish? No, it does not mean I'm Turkish. I am Hungarian. <laughs> no, I used to play a game called this. I don't know if you've ever heard, have you ever heard the game called Risk Your Life. RYL? No. Okay, well, there was a lot of people. There was a lot of people from Turkey there. Wait, is Turkey close to Hungary? Not really. Okay, well, then I don't know. I don't know. They used to They used to be... Anyway, all the English-speaking people were super racist. The people from Turkey and also Hungary. Uh, and I figured they were mm. I figured they were both like... Um, I see. But wait, because they don't natively speak English there. You don't. So you're, no, you're extracurricular. Not really. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's why they were pissed off. Like, you, why are you even playing? Yeah, because they're playing on US servers mm. and they couldn't speak English. It was like, you know, the whole... Mm. It was a whole fucking meme, dude. It was like the Brazilian yeah. guys. The same shit you, with World of Warcraft in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Ragnaros, I believe. Okay, shit. Okay, so wait, you live... So wait, you were born in Hungary. and you, Are you living there now? Yeah, yeah, for the most part. I travel to Sweden a lot, but uh, 
generally I'm here in Hungary for the most part. What what is the day in the life of someone like like what what is it like? I mean, I have no concept of what kind of because I, I don't know. I've never heard someone like oh I'm going on holiday to Hungary. Like is it is it like is it like mm -hmm. is it war torn or I mean, is it the, the 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 day of life is the same as yours or any streamer that streams as much as we do, right? Like we wake up and we play video games and people watch and then maybe we make a YouTube video or something and then that's it. But, but uh, do you have like Amazon? Yeah, we do have Amazon. <laughs> So wait, if you go outside for a walk, what's it like? What are we talking about? It's it it is not a war torn country. It's an EU member state. It's part of the European Union. We have you know internet stores, money, yeah. Mm. So it's kind of like Greece, but they speak a different language. Yeah, it's kind of like any European country, kind of. Well, I mean, there's a certain vibe, right? You think there's certain vibes of different countries. Like, I mean, like when you think of Poland, mm. say you're like thinking of like, oh yeah, I live in Poland. What do you what do you think dude, when someone says I live in Poland? I don't know. I don't know enough about. About Poland to know the differences, I guess. But do you not have to something not have you not seen any movies or any like things descripting what like like Poland's... Hungarian movies or well, yeah, like I don't know. Like I think of England, I think of like oh what mate what like I think of some two headed guy fucking talking about oh, fucking football and they 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 fighting at a pub or something like Liverpool. You know, I you know I think like that. You know, in Poland, I think of like these skyscraper apartments and like poor Eastern mm -hmm. European people, mm -hmm. and there's like you know some okay, it's just kind of like you. I guess it's kind of like that. It's kind of poor Eastern European ish trying to be more like the West, but kind of failing. Uh, people with mustaches, people with a uh, let's we'll fix it attitude. Like, uh, Giga Chan? you know, if something is broken, they just like kind of fix it in a, in a, in like a scuffed way. That's, That's kind of New Zealand, bro. You Hungarian, describe New Zealand, but, yeah, but then okay. again, we didn't have, um, yeah, we're more isolated and yeah, but, but no, it's yeah. kind of describing similar sort of situation. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Wait, why would they name the uh, Hungary? Like what's it? Cause it sounds like the word hungry, because right? They really didn't have enough food, I guess. And they, they thought about all the funny jokes that people would make in English hundreds of years <laughs> later. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Why shit. did they name Turkey after a bird, right? <laughs> that is stupid as well. <laughs> Turkey's so dumb. Like, what the fuck? Wait, what about New Zealand? Is there is there an old Zealand? Which one's yeah, that? Well, there's a, uh, there is a place called Zealand in um, okay. Dutch people. Dutch place, whatever, whatever that, oh. Netherlands. Yeah. Really? But that's New Zealand? Okay, I had no idea. Okay. And New Zealand is like the place... Holland? He, that, some thought New Zealand was like, I, I don't know the story behind it entirely, but yeah, I think it, it might be some reference there. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, dude. And wait, is your hairstyle, so I don't know, for example, my sister's boyfriend, um, well, who's, her, her, they're engaged now, she, he has dreads. And people mm -hmm. here, he gets he gets literal hate uh, for like cultural appropriation and people like fucking oh. really it do some shit that like, they, they are unironically toxic. Mm. And he's had to deal with some 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 cunts. I'm talking some cunts. Do you get that in Hungary Jeez. at all? No, not at all. People don't give a fuck here. I also probably don't go out enough to, to any place where those people would be out. I guess most of that comes from online people who have nothing to do anyway so like it's, he's had real life know. encounters uh, people don't give a shit especially when he goes to like um music concerts and stuff and you know a few places mm. he's, he's had many like people have tried to fight him over it it's that it's it's actually cringe jeez but you don't understand yeah. they spend half their time though uh, in uh britain so there's a lot more you know what, whatever like i don't know yeah i don't know, I don't know that, but, but yeah but that's crazy mm. okay so you're actually chilling you're actually chilling yeah. wait what's up what's the take on dreads what's your take on dreads what why do you even why do you have them i don't know i just thought they were kind of chill when i I was like 18 and then I kind of made this and then I just kind of maintain it ever since I don't want it to be like super long it's like a hassle to maintain it takes long to wash long to dry when you wash it it's like yeah true yeah I mean it's just uh just a hairstyle I don't know we considered um did you uh, did you okay so th talking about hairstyles your current one was that like losing a bet or was this like a conscious decision um i consciously decided that i wanted to have a stupid looking haircut okay um, yeah, specifically I see, I see. and i was, then i was like what will be a really dumb one that but then it kind of also has like some level of swag to it i can't you know mm. i was like fuck it i, I have a, in my to-do list before i even uh like mo like a month ago i was like i want to i want you know what i've kind of committed to doing something dumb but you, mm -hmm. you want to well, why do you think that oh fuck, i'm gonna fucking die brother why, why do you think that i would want that that you would want this hairstyle what a stupid haircut like, or something what? that's just dumb looking. no um for attention slash doing something different doing something weird and funky and then you just you can at any point you can like shave most of it off right or have a, have like a shortcut and then it's fine well no i agreed to not being able to shave it off whenever i did it. i said i have to keep it for at least like a couple weeks or something 
right? So it's regardless okay. of what I did, what hit it, you know. But no. okay, so you just kind of committed to it. I don't know. You just you just had no. a vision and you wanted to go for it and you did it, right? No. Like that's that's fine. No, this is the, the, I mean that's no. actually uh, so yeah. This is weird. So I actually found out that uh, when you IRL stream with blue hair and a bandana, like, and your role playing is ninja, mm -hmm. people see you and they think, oh wow, this guy's a fucking memer. He's what a meme. What is this guy doing? And they their their demeanor and attitude is chill. Because mm -hmm. they're like, what's going on? There's like some crazy guy with blue hair and a fucking bandana on, and he's running around with a camera, and he's fucking... Str okay, and, and actually, people are far more open to you videotaping them and you running around with a camera. Okay, mm. now you try the same thing Okay, after... I mean, I can see that, yeah. If, uh, well, if, that... if they feel like they are not the weirdest thing on camera, then they're more comfortable doing whatever on camera, I guess. I could well, see it's that. like a, it's, it's a 180, bro. I did, this, I did the same exact live streaming, same shit, except I shaved the hair off, and I had, like, very short hair, and people, everyone mm -hmm. was like, looking at me like what the fuck's this weird guy with the backpack pointing a camera at me like what's going on and people would it instantly went from like like they'd see you and kind of like laugh a bit and be like omega lol to they'd see you and be like what why is this weird got a camera out mm -hmm. um with a bald head like and yeah and and that's ultimately i'm thinking for exalcon a mullet it's kind of disarming like if you saw a guy with a mullet <laughs> you know if you guys saw a guy with a mullet come up to you with a camera i mean you've seen the glass right you get it you it, versus the, the guy a, disrespect glasses yeah versus like a guy yeah, with okay. a, a like a skinhead Right? Come up to you with a camera. Yeah, what, yeah, you, sure, yeah, sure. Speaking of XLCon. Yeah. Are you coming? Nope. Wait, you're not going to XLCon? Nope. Why? I was pretty close to going, but it's too much for me. It's it's not like I couldn't afford it at all, but I just moved to a new apartment, which I bought and is now mine, basically. Oh, fuck not yeah. like, you know, I'm going to pay it for the next 25 years or whatever. Uh, and I furnished it and uh, Giga Chad. which is kind of uh you know taking a toll on my finances but i'm really happy with everything so far with it and I, so like it would just be a little too much from eu flying there i'm i don't know how much a plane ticket it is for you but it's like over two thousand euros for a plane to get from here to there and then going there at the time of year when the weather is already shit. so it's not like yeah. you're going for a summer vacation it's gonna be like winter there right so unless like, you like skiing or something if, if you like snow yeah so, exactly you know. so like yeah i wouldn't mind going if it was if i knew i could do other stuff like good weather and like spending a week there but it's like kind of too much for a week for just the convention and then like a 32 hour trip there and then 32 hours back and yeah. Yeah. I can tell you, uh, after traveling to Scotland a couple of times, traveling to Germany, I don't know how close, it's probably close to you, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Like, it sucks fucking dick. So, it literally, it's like, depending on your layovers, you're talking upwards of, you know, 35. Uh, I, I mean, my one to Germany was like total 42 hours, but from the moment I hopped yeah, on the first like plane. Yeah, like, you might have to, to spend there. like eight to 12 hours at an airport. Like, <laughs> fuck that. Yeah, no, it's terrible. Not for sure. I mean, that's extremely financially responsible. The fact that you're investing in real estate and then deliberately not expending money on pointless shit, I guess. Although you could it's, argue... I mean, I don't want to say it's pointless. It, it is a good way to, you know, market or and or make connections and stuff that you couldn't make online. You could make them in real life and stuff. And, and that would be cool. But like, I've thought of, I thought a lot about this and I, uh, yeah, basically decided not to go. Do you this think time, at least. Do you think GG fucking um, have a vendetta of like a personal like uh, beef with you? No, not at all. I'm in really good terms with everyone that I've talked to at GG so far. So well, I know there's streamers who thought that in the past, and actually they were fucking unironically blacklisted, like mm. un unironically like not even allowed to come to the event. Um, but depends. No, but no, no if you, yeah, because they, wait, they cause... literally reserved tickets for two tickets for me, and they. Oh, you had told me about what this the fuck? Thing. You yeah. did it to my. Not, did not the ultra VIP tickets, but just tickets for the convention, so I don't have to sit there and spam refresher or whatever. Like, uh, th there is no bad blood between me and GG. <laughs> Oh, what the f fine. dude you should uh like i mean as if they're not helping out the fucking you know the european guys because you're you're spending power of your money oh wait you probably get paid newest dollars left, right i mean by twitch pays in dollars and then youtube is uh i mean the majority YouTube of viewers are probably euros US, right? ads, but then it gets converted to the hungarian currency when the when they send it to the bank well it's probably gg right is, is it are you get are you in a situation where you're kind of like living in like thailand or something right where like the the cost of living is super low basically yes how Hungary much, has how very low dollars? cost of living very high internet very fast internet and uh how, yeah, how much does it cost living. Uh, like to cost to, so like to you, every month to like uh rent mm -hmm. food internet all like well, i don't pay rent anymore so that's nice but uh nice. but rent in this town would be like anywhere from 
200 to 400 do dollars a month i guess and this is like a town of like 200k so it's not like a village it's like you know there's a 50 restaurants you can order from you know like delivery food delivery That's or so store cheap. you can order from all that stuff yeah. yeah you would even you wouldn't even get that for a week here bro like oh, unless you lived yep. in like a, i was talking i'm talking like you'd have to live in a shitty you did a flat with multiple yeah. people and then you're good right yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but if you wanted to rent out a, like a basic house yourself like holy yeah this place also has like two gigabit internet for like 20 bucks a month so that's wait, the that, you say like double for... fiber wait is that wait this yes. is holy yeah. wait, what the fuck yo come come to hungary boys Lock of move, move to yeah. Hungary, where it's at. Fucking. And wait, yeah. there's not like crazy murder rates there or anything, right? Like, what, 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 what is your. No, nope. like, no. No one has problems. Here. Like, fucking any. Wait, is, it, any, is there anything it, wrong no. with Hungary? Wait, what the fuck? I mean, we have like a, we have like a very conservative right wing leader who Based. is like fighting against shit in like EU and like we're. I don't think we're getting kicked, but like a lot of countries don't like how we responded to the Ukraine situation, Ukraine Russia situation. Because what did you say? Hungary like, gets like eighty five percent of their gas from Russia. And they wanted all the sanctions to apply to energy stuff too, and that would like fuck Hungary so hard. So our, our government decided to like keep the keep the Russian gas flowing, which nice. kind of sucks if you're trying to support Ukraine, of course. But yeah, I don't really care about any of that because you know I'm just a fucking dumbass who plays video games. And oh, you're just like, hey, I don't want to take part in this proxy war. Okay, let them, you know. Yeah, exactly. But then again, I don't know how it depends. I don't know if we're just gonna like assimilate. I mean, at the same time, shit. I think Hungary like, took in like. 700,000 Ukrainian refugees, no problem. So like it's Thanks. not, which is which is like, which is like 7% of our population. So it's not like we are not helping or anything like, but uh, but I mean, I'm not helping. So like, I don't, I don't know shit about this. So. Shit, okay. Uh, still sounds good though. I mean, it sounds, it sounds pretty lit there. I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, like, you know, assuming that, well, wait, what's the climate like? Is it like, is it like Siberia or some shit? Well, no, it can't be, right? Cause you're close to like Greece. The what? Is it like, is it oh, like the, perpetually the, cold it's, or? It's pretty warm in the South. No, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty normal. We got four seasons. We got a, uh, you know, warm summer up to 35s celsius and then winter like zero or minus five maybe like that's ish, the range that's very moderate sounds extremely nice yeah he's at least fuck wait see so you ever play you see so you, you ain't moving you're gonna you like you, you see yourself staying in hungry for life yeah pretty much bro what the fuck they need to they need to gg needs to fucking i don't what i don't get is why don't they pay for more people shit like they, they fuck it they've got like giga money right they got, they got giga, yeah. they got giga, you know, we're talking like they got giga fucking 10 cent bucks, right? As if they don't, I don't know uh... if they, I mean, they could afford it. That's fine. But I don't know if they want to come off as like, you know, we paid all these streamers to come here. Like they're basically sponsored to show up at our event rather than not really they though, it's expressing not... a willingness to come and then they are accommodating that if people they, want like, or not. Like they want to yeah. help out that content kind of It's not like sponsored. It's more like, uh... Fucking, you know, they're just fucking helping out the bros who live in fucking Europe in the cost, you know, where they don't, you know, ain't got yeah, so much I mean, money and that costs a fuck ton. At least subsidize it. Like, hey, we'll pay for the hotel or something, right? Like, fuck, you know, jeez, Louise, like a slideshow. What's going on right now? Is this good? Someone ban that guy in chat saying that I, this shit's lagging when it's not lagging. Don't fuck it. I'm sorry, I read chat. Bad. I'm my bad. I just fine. like, you know, this chat. Do you hate that shit when you have a fucking chatter? Like, I don't know. How many people do you ban people in your chat? Only for like the worst offenses or if they're contribute or if they're like going off on other viewers like if people call me names or whatever i don't really care because i can like handle it i guess because i've been doing this for so long but like if they go off on other people i don't know if they can handle it so then i step in or it, or it's like the obvious like you know racism sexism homophobia whatever like i've been for that but generally it's pretty hard to get banned in my chat unless you're begging i don't like begging i don't like where people are like Hey, can you give me a headhunter? Hey, can you give me an X currency or whatever? I think that creates Big an environment where like people are just like begging. I don't know. It's just like boring. Fucking so I just begging. That. You, you must get that a lot, right? If you have like a bunch of yeah, especially you, end you, of you, league. You so like the me. end of yeah, the end of Poe leagues, I I accumulate a bunch of currency because people have watched me do like dumb shit in Poe and they like want to contribute to that. So people when they you know when they finish their league, let's say like a month in, they like give me their full gear set and like 200 divines or whatever that they have left over and I put that aside and when we do some end league bullshit, we spend all that currency on you know breaking like a stat you wanna, record in Poe or something. You like wanna that. you wanna be and allowed then, to, right? To if you were to say I wouldn't be allowed viewers. to do giveaways. Yeah, exactly. You can take as much currency as you want to the streamer, but you can't give any away for free because it can be considered a mild RMT. Yeah. What if you give it away rant? What if you somehow completely you randomly? Can. I have, fine. I have, I have done that before. I have uh, at some point I bought like a hundred headhunters and then I listed them one by one for like seven alks or four fusings 
or one X or whatever, and then off stream I though, right? Go, go go the ND. No, on stream. I go the ND. I don't show it on screen. So like anyone who searches for those items and sends, sends me a whisper has technically a chance to buy it. And then the first person that messages me, I sell it. I've done well, that. Then you would that know if you were doing it, MP. If you're streaming, you'd know because then it's like almost like you had. Yeah, to but be I don't watching. show. I don't show where it is on the tab. I don't show the price, so people don't know how much. You know, people can't like snipe it from the stream and pre whisper me with the correct thing. I, but I do I, it like. Can just keep I and basically. then search the or do you do different yeah items I mean, people time? can refresh of course yeah but i mean that's the that's the most fair way that is tos friendly and you can sell shit for cheap if you just want to quote unquote do a giveaway but i don't want to do giveaways because yeah I don't that's, know. that's i, a, I feel that's like growing your stream based on giveaways is just it's like buying like follow bots or whatever i consider it like the same thing so i try to never do that <laughs> It depends. I I do I do think what well, depends, right? Because there's no. I mean, if you have something cool to give away and you want to give back to your community, that's absolutely fine. Of course, like if, like for example, I still have some stuff that Blizzard has sent me or it hasn't sent me yet, but like I can pick people and I can give away like a T-shirt, like a Diablo T-shirt or something. That's fine. But I I don't want to make my streams about oh today we're doing a thousand exalt giveaway or whatever. We know that's I a common that once, thing, right? And you can't do that in Poe, so. Yeah, I just didn't want to do that after. Wait, you, uh, you would, yeah. I mean, that's against TOS POE, but, like, so yeah. what about people who, there's a very common meta on Twitch right now where people just say, like, oh, I'm doing a $500 giveaway today. And they're just, every day, they're oh. just still giving a giveaway. Yeah, I've, and I've then, never done that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it makes sense. It can work, I guess. You build uh, you build some, like, passive audience or, like, Well, the people that follow you, are... for sure, they're, at, they're, they're, I mean, what they want, they want free stuff. But then the idea is that you try and convert yeah. the free stuff any to like being an actual fucking viewer yeah, or something. Exactly. Yeah, or, or you take advantage of the fact that because of you have a thousand people watching because of the giveaway, some of those people will follow, some of the, those people will stick around, I guess. Yeah. Or you put you up in the directory and then um, fucking push you up in the directory. People click on your stream. Uh, you know, s mm -hmm. s something like, uh, you know, have you noticed uh, Fed Extra Life? And the uh, D4 section at all. Oh, yeah, the embedding. I hate the embedding shit. <laughs> Fuck the embeds. Fuck they the do not count as viewers unless you're, unless you're actively watching the stream or True. you're like watching for X amount of time and not muted. Like, uh, embed is so cancer. What do you think about PoE guys uh, and embedding? Because obviously there was PoE guys embedding in I don't like websites. it either. When, when that shit was happening, we were like calling it out on Twitter. I don't know. If I, if I don't generally partake in like the drama farming or whatever, but if I see something what? in the category, I'm actively participating in and i don't like it i i call it out but why yeah okay. I, I don't like embeds in any category doesn't matter speaking about twitter actually t why the fuck were you muted i went to go i'm like oh i want to message mp and then I, your account was muted like why did i have you muted and i was I'm, i was not following you and i'm like wait was i following you and then i unfollowed or was i never following you? but what the fuck no, are what? you asking me why you muted me i have no yeah, idea i don't know why I'm, you must have said some dog shit i'm some pretty point. tame on twitter i you don't must know have said just, something like, that triggered me bro like geez. tweet when i go live or like eat some cool food or find some funny meme like that's I don't know, that's pretty much all I tweet, so I don't know. Wait, wait. No, wasn't life isn't fair. No, because life isn't fair shit. Okay, the life isn't fair shit. Wait, okay, for, okay. For starters, mm -hmm. okay, but, but we haven't even gone into, like, people don't even, a lot of people don't even know MP. Who, okay, MP is like a giga, ultra, how would you put this? Power gamer, like turbo trade league power gamer, whatever the most powerful group. Like, well, no, not even group. If Solo was more powerful, you would just do that, right? You just do whatever's mo like the ultra most broken shit, right? Generally, would but I would, actually, I would prefer group always if I could, at least at league start, because it's like really fun to play with your friends, I feel like. And if there's something that you can do efficiently together, and then min max some group aspect of the game i liked it the most like from diablo 3 i did some solo pushing and i was i don't know top 10 early like season one but then as soon as i get into group play i enjoy that way more because like min maxing like the four man aspect of d3 was like much more fun than solo pushing for me at Ooh. least so yeah i remember i, I remember well. the the eu strats to be fair i kind of um yeah. just I kind of had like a tag system, kind of like a PoE like tag system where I would, I would, you just immediately get labeled as like an EU Andy and I kind of just put you all into a box of like the EU Andys and I, which was kind of sure. unfair, right? Because not all EU Andys are the same. Although certainly mm -hmm. most of you guys were in the same clan and guild and you're all, you know, all, 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 yeah. obviously all the, all the power gamers were kind of juicing together, right? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, he's a giga power. He's a giga power gamer, and pretty much uh, both Diablo and uh, and Poe, and probably I mean, what in, I'm guessing any game you try hard in, right? You probably like power game shit of it. I guess. But just so people understand, people, I'm trying to give people context right now. I'm trying to give people fucking context so they understand. Uh, you know what kind of you know game gaming 
stra strategy. And then, anyway, you were power gaming one day. Wait, wait, how did it go down? You were power gaming, and that's what it was, right? What, what league was it? What, what league was it? What league was it when they did this the streamer queue? Uh, ultimatum. Ultimatum. Okay, basically, there's a league called Ultimatum, and anyway, they uh, they had people flagged as uh, streamers, and then we could basically bypass mm -hmm. the queue, right? And we could play the yeah. game. And the fucking plebeian mm -hmm. dumb fuck bozos in chat. Fuck you guys. Fucking mm -hmm. subhuman scum couldn't get in. And anyway, you. You quoted the, what you you already say you, you quoted the term uh, what I mean life isn't fair yeah true and do you stand by by the the, the life isn't fair statement absolutely <laughs> <laughs> you think life is fair you know who thinks life isn't fair I always people people come in my chat like two years later they're like life isn't fair like do you think I'm gonna disagree like do you think life is fair and they never answer I've never got to like oh shit wait actually fuck. Yeah. <laughs> of course, uh, it's not fair. Of course, we try to make it as fair as possible. That would be the ideal thing. But the, you know, letting five, that, that like, I... letting letting a hundred streamers keep the queue so that one hundred thousand people can watch instead of those hundred people not streaming and no one watching or whatever. It makes sense as a as a marketing decision for GGG, right? However, it doesn't make sense when it comes to the like the competitive integrity of the softcore economy. Those people will get ahead and get five exalts earlier than the other players who were in the queue. So of course it's not fair, but I mean, what can you do? That's what Mine they did. Bad, and they're bro. probably never doing streamer queues again. So goodbye. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I mean it was it was um I mean that was a fiasco for sure. That was a classic though. Yeah. It was like that was based. It was actually I, I, I love it. that was based. But what happened? Wait, what happened after that? What was the what was the the fallout of like fucking Reddit? Like, after that we you? exploited we found the we found the bug or a or a an unintended interaction where you know was how it? the ultimatum mechanic you could walk out of the circle and they would pause the timer. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, if yeah, you yeah. And, and and if and if the timer counts down to zero, the ultimatum encounter ends. We found that if someone walks out and then everyone else stays in and then that person comes back and a second person walks out, you could basically infinitely keep the ultimatum encounter going. This was one of four <laughs> encounters that they had in the game. And we just did that for like 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, the encounter ends anyway. There's like a hard limit of 20 minutes. And then, you know, 700,000 items drop on the ground. And we did that three times. And then, and then our bug report got deleted from the forums. And then we all got banned for the rest of the league on that account. Wait, so you, you did it? play on other accounts. So you did about yeah. so a total of 60 minutes of uh, this fucking yep. Clevius game mechanics. Well, yeah, we, did it though. we did it once in BA, Blood Aquedux, to test it. And then we did it twice in maps. And then by that time, our bug report on the forums got deleted, and then we stopped doing it. How, uh, how intentional, like, how hard was it to execute? Was it easy? Was it super, like... It was pretty easy. It was like walking in and out. Like you just wanted to make sure that you're only standing outside as little as possible. So you lose as little time every time as possible. Like it was a fraction of a second walk in, walk back. It's, it was kind of like resetting in Legion, you know, when walking in and out of the circuit was, was an intended mechanic and not an exploit. It's like resetting the Legion encounter, basically. Mm. I mean, there's certainly a, there's a gra there is a gray months. area there, right? I mean, whenever you, whenever that happened, do you feel like it was like, um, do you feel like it was like, oh, this is the cleverest game again? So do you feel like, actually, this is kind of fucking ridiculous? But we, 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 we like, you know, whenever you were testing it out or whatever. I feel like, uh, I, I feel like people overlook how efficiently you could map with six people at a time. It was not the most efficient way to farm loot. It was just the most ridiculous loot explosion on one screen that you could generate. Um, if we just mapped as is with our group regularly at the time, we could have made more currency than doing this dumb shit. It was just funny. So we did it for the sake yeah. of, you know, but, doing a big loot explosion. But, uh, yeah. I guess the question is, though, did you feel like it was like, because uh, a clevis game mechanics or an exploit, like, personally? Like, you're, 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 I mean, it wasn't. It, it was an exploit. It was absolutely an exploit. That timer exists for a reason, and we were bypassing that timer. It was absolutely an exploit. Oh, yeah, there was oh, no, yeah. uh, there's no way around it. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. To be fair, though, w were you banned mid go as well, or did you had you stopped and then got banned? Uh, or was was we, it like you we stopped and hours later we got banned? <laughs> I think I was sleeping and I woke up to being banned. I think or something like that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's actually bullshit. It's fine. We were, it was, it was just an account ban. It wasn't like a person ban. We could play on other accounts. In fact, I did a hardcore SSF reroll that league, and I played hardcore SSF for like two nice. weeks. And I died to a disconnect, of course, at level 94 on my first character. <laughs> that's fucked. That character could tank. Uh, it was like an old school champ, you know, slam slammer character. Uh, it could tank uh, an Osiris Beam. Like two ticks of a Cyrus Beam, it could tank, and I died in a no damage mod all can go map because the server shit the bed. I lost zero frames on stream. I streamed the whole thing, 
it was just the server disconnect. So yeah, server cool. a routing issue to the server, right? Hundred percent. I've, well, I've had many. That's how goes, I guess. I've had yeah, many like always. that. Gee, it's funny that you think that two tanks, two ticks of a Cyrus beam is like tanky in terms of hardcore. I mean, I mean for, for a softcore Andy, right? No, I don't mean that the. I mean the third one. I guess could have killed if you like don't react like if you tank the entire beam i don't think it could have tanked the entire beam i mean if you spam health flask it, it could but yeah that's oh that's fucking yeah that's good okay fuck yeah here we yeah, do so that was ultimatum that was two years ago more than two years ago now wait what the fuck was i gonna talk about poe related i feel like there's another poe thing i want to talk Oh, yo, PUE when you, you when you guys, uh, wait, what was it? We're on the PUE train. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what it was. It was PUE and it was a league that was dog shit. Uh, what? Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone on Reddit, uh, was shitting on it, right? I mean, and you were like, fuck this shit. Uh, and then you and your group like quit. I don't recall what league it was, mm -hmm. but like. Calandra. Calan yeah. Calandra. How, wait, so what was the thought Yeah, Calandra, they name? removed like a hidden like 10,000% like MF multiplier from a bunch of mechanics, including Breach, Abyss, Incursion, and yeah. more. I don't know which ones exactly. Yeah. And wait, do you did you do you feel like you guys were being emotional and overreacting, or do you think you were, it was totally legit and you just actually fucking hated the game? Like, I mean, how? of course we were being emotional, but that's I don't know. Most most people play this game for fun, and myself included. Like, of course, yeah, I'm streaming, I'm making money off streaming the game, but I have like this policy of like I just want to play and stream whatever I enjoy the most at the time, and that was not bad. That was not the path of exile that I kind of fell in love with for all the all these years. So because I'm in such a privileged position of I can just say fuck it and stream something else stream variety for variety games for like 200 viewers or whatever as long as i can you know buy food and pay my bills i will do that instead of forcing myself to play something i don't enjoy i think the streams are most fun when the streamer is having fun and if, if yeah, i don't have fun playing a game I'm, I'm not gonna stream it so that's how i was feeling about poe we were farming you know with the same group for four plus years every league start and having a lot of fun together and we put this, put all this together and only to be hit by like an unannounced, you know, insane fucking nerf when we have, you know, a prepared strat and we practiced and we did all that. And then we sit down and play and we, you know, invest multiple mirrors into our gear to get finish Atlas on like day two and get ready to blast. And then you do the most juice map you can imagine and you finish an Alva and you come out and two transmutes and one Alk drop that you're supposed to split split with like eight people that doesn't feel good <laughs> so. yeah do you do you think that they fixed the game now that the, or have you just have they fixed loot and it's like just back like what no. it was before i mean or the, is the it like just is a completely shittier version completely fine for the average person who just puts in the all can go puts in the rusted scarab it's fine a group Group mapping, group MF is like in the worst state it's ever been since I've been playing Path of Exile for like six uh, years. So uh, yeah, the group haters can rejoice. <laughs> the best way to make friends as a group right now is host five ways or do heist. No yeah, other wait. like league mechanic works oh, wow. well in a group. So, so do you think PoE group? Wait, how would you rate like group gaming PoE in the current year? Like from your point of view, from your perspective, how would you? Would you like group MF mapping compared at, to like what uh, it was before, in, like and how much you're enjoying it to now. It was like a ten out. It was literally ten out of ten for years, and now it's like a it's like a three out of ten maybe. Like you can make it work, especially if you do like a smaller group, like a three man. And then possibly an outside trader. But if what if you're doing like the six man quant stacking, rarity stacking, all that that was so good for years, that's like that's out. Yeah. Jeez Louise, that's crazy. If anything, you can do like some speed mapping strats right now. I don't I don't know what the what the current meta is for that, because we did change, we, we just did five ways this league. Uh, so wait, do you think like a, wait, what do you think of the current state of Path of Exo? What do you think of the current state of Path of Exo? I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens with Path of Exile 2. I mean the the base game is in a really good state. There's a lot of fucking content. There's like infinite content to do, right? Like if you're if you're a content creator or or just a player, like there's so many things you can work on. Like you can pick hundreds of Atlas strats and do whatever the fuck you want. The crucible mechanic is like the worst thing that they've introduced like yeah, over the last crucible. few years, I think, in terms of just the pure league mechanic. Every every way you're engaging with the mechanic feels so bad. It, I, I have, I have bro, never, bro. I don't know, since Calandra. And then before that, I've never had for years, I've never had a mechanic when it's like, fuck, I just don't want to engage with it whatsoever. Like, I would rather pay an extra hundred divines for an item that someone else makes the fucking tree for than me having to run through that same fucking crucible layout to win some lottery or Gee. I don't know. It just feels bad. The holding of the charging, the every, every, I don't, everything about this current mechanic is just... I Do you think? It. But I still played the league a lot because the base well, in terms of good. design, 
MP in terms of design for the Crucible, for example, mm-hmm. and overall where they do this whole fucking thing where they design because you're talking about having to go through to make one item, some guys to go for a map like a hundred mm-hmm. times to like completely re- keep yeah. where they like do it and then they imprint back and they do it until they eventually get it right or whatever. Yeah. Do you think that this design of balancing the game around trade league uh, where you know they have to make the odds very low to create a good item in order you know to mm-hmm. stop these people who have access like you who have access to like a million bases with all the best roles yeah, yeah. To, to do that do you think they should say fuck that just let trade league people go crazy and then balance it more around um i solo think gameplay they kind of average- pigeonhole themselves into you know trade be- trade being incredibly available to everyone who, who wants to engage with it. I don't think they can go back on that and not upset like an insane amount of players. Well, it wouldn't be going back. I think be... it I think it would be okay to to balance SSF slightly differently, but True. I guess they would have to spend way more time on that and I don't know if they I don't know if they will ever want to do that. Like I think it would be okay to do something like what Last Epoch is planning to do so that if you're committing to SSF, you have either higher drop rate or easier chance of getting certain things from certain link mechanics, but then there can be no movement ever between soft, or between SSF and trade. Because if you go on SSF, farm some OP shit because you can, because your loot rate is giga jacked, and then you move that over to trade league, that will not work, right? People will be fucking <laughs> upset with that. So Last Epoch is doing something like a trade factions where you can assign yourself to the SSF faction or the trade faction. And if you're playing SSF, your drop rate is going to be better and your crafting chances or whatever is going to be better. But if you're playing trade league, you can trade almost everything you find. And then the game is balanced around that. So I, I don't think GGG want to like go back and change the game around these two things. I think they treat SSF as a self-imposed limitation, which is what it is. If you want to challenge yourself and not trade and not group and just do everything yourself, you can, but then that comes with, you know, yeah, but you're describing having to roll a lot of lottery. Either you're describing in trade league, the mechanic being yeah. super dog shit because you have to keep repeatedly going back and doing the same thing over and over again because they yeah. have to wait things so low. Otherwise, people will make some dumb broken shit. I'm saying instead of doing that, just bounce around like the SF player or the more average player, right? So then they can reasonably make some 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 good shit. And yes, yeah, the power you're, gamers... you're making it out to be like the SSF player is the average player. The SSF well, player no, no, no. is not the I, average player. I don't player. mean the average player. I mean the average, I mean the average PE engager, right? isn't like okay. some guy turbo juicing yeah I, yeah I hate rarity. the term average because you know the average player dies at brutus and then never plays the game again or whatever like the average player hasn't completed the diablo oh, yeah, I'm campaign talking about, I'm the talking average about the... poe reddit frequenter let's say or someone who gets to red maps week one and yeah you know, like a red map Andy, game yeah. i guess that's what you mean they're like, they're like yeah, in the level I mean, 90s they're probably not gonna hit 100 they should balance around i feel like that and then just let mm-hmm. the people like you and the giga tradely guys just do broken shit because i feel like you think reddit aren't going yeah. to agree with that like hey we're just gonna let tradely guys I think that happens regardless, and I think that's fine. Like, I think it's it's okay to have broken shit in League, especially if it's only for that League, because then that's the League storyline, right? Like, the League storyline for Legion League is fucking full screen Cyclone, you know, White Socket, Slayer Swords, actual full screen Cyclone melee build, or like the storyline for Harvest, when everyone can make five t1 items then craft a six mod and then gg you have like close to current like you know mirror that two items as well. but the ssf player can do their own thing but that was it it's contained in that league and then the storyline ends and then the next league comes out new broken shit comes out yeah new broken shit gets abused and then cries, it's gone though. again everyone cries. Like yeah. they put harvest in the game everyone's like oh my god this is crazy well, everyone who items, isn't and then everyone cries. playing is crying right because everyone who's playing is not sitting there typing out angry reddit threads they are logged in and playing the game and they couldn't give a fuck about what people are yeah. crying about I think but i mean example- they have the numbers the that to tell whether or not like a league is successful or not i feel like a better example would be something like combinators which wasn't like completely busted broken but it was fucking i mean yeah if you have, have yeah your the combinators were amazing I, I i would love to see them come back like yeah. what the fuck that was cool that was so good crazy shit. yeah but then guess what they didn't make it into the game because they're like ah, oh, do you know what there's actually two people for trade league people can make like perfect items fuck this it's like bro just like no yeah. just like come on that shit is like such a so designed like fuck reddit dude wait speaking of reddit actually wait how often do you think you you uh agree with reddit with reddit i mean there is all sorts of posts on reddit i go on reddit to see the like majority of best crafts that people make some memes um i mean of course sometimes there's constructive feedback there but it's generally drowned out by all the other like shit posting and I don't know. There, is, they're like saying, there is some uh, stuff there, but they're saying make yeah. the game faster, give us more loot, and all this like like fuck you, put harvest back in the game. Like, are you agreeing with all this, or are you? Mm, I mean, I don't mind the game being fast. 
uh, harvest in in its original form should definitely not be in the game. That is way too much. But uh, at the same time, I don't like when they take away stuff that's that that they probably shouldn't. That makes crafting better. Like having the the refor or the keep suffix, keep prefix, and then they're like remove some filler crafts. That I think that's kind of a kick in the balls. Like those are literal like giant checkpoints in your good craft good item crafting journey and it's like remove some filler crafts it's like mm. okay now you're stuck gambling the 33 percent aisling or fucking annulling or whatever like yeah not great do you think that you should be able to just have some determin deterministic way of actually creating an item you think there should be a route of like just making a perfect item with enough currency mm. with enough currency yes but with enough currency you can do that now with enough currency right now you can keep rolling the dice until you hit the fucking thing right but yeah but some things the, are like the, the oh, question is where where is that where is that line of, or you of say how much that currency you need for a but certain items are like literally you know it would take you fucking uh five hundreds of mirrors orbs. Right, like, yeah, like some yeah. stupid amount, which would be insane yeah. time and I mean, to get that. If the supply exists on Trade League and you have the funds to do it, I think you should be able to do it. That's fine. If it's fine, I mean, I mean you know what? Right I, now. I wouldn't disagree. Honestly, if someone's able to create a, like a perfect item and it's literally like 50 mirrors to make, do yeah. you know what? I'm actually, that's, I think that's, that's fine. fine. Actually. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I agree. But I don't think that people should be, have an actual deterministic method to, to create an item that is literally perfect. Like, like, you know, no. I, I feel I think, like there should be an aspect I think, I think if you farm for a couple of days, you should be able to make like a, you know, 70% item. And 70% gear is perfectly fine to clear all content in the game. If you yeah. want to push yourself to like absolute min mag, you know, 80% item, that takes a couple of more days of farming. 90% item, a couple of weeks of farming maybe. And 100% item, you know, or 99% item, that will take your entire league or it will take a, a you know, group effort of like five people, 10 people combining their currency to make something good like that. Yeah. What's, your, what's your take on people being able to like, within two days, they're like in T60 maps and they shoot a f single arrow out and the entire screen explodes. And then they just move to the next fucking screen and That's then they shoot an arrow and that, the That screen. means that they probably pre-planned a fuck ton of their progress. They probably practiced the campaign and the Atlas progression for hundreds of hours and they played 16 hours a day. Okay, what, what do you think? What fine. do you think if it was in five days? Like some guy who's actually not doing that, all that shit, can then just shoot an arrow and blow up the entire screen. What, what are you asking exactly? Like, okay. Is it okay if someone in five days can clear the Atlas? How long I mean, do you sure, think it I mean, should take <laughs> before? Yeah, I think how long do you think, like, for the turbo nerds, sh should take before someone's basically hit this fucking power level where they can literally trivialize the entire game because right now I, I would argue that it's like um you know with you almost mm. upon hitting maps there's builds that are capable of like speed clearing just running through everything everything like they sh shoot some shit out it prolifs around shit explodes mm -hmm. and it's like that you know how, how long do you think it should take people to do that or do you think that should even exist in the game at all yeah of course it should exist it's a fucking arpg we play this to have strong like godlike characters and yeah, blow yeah. up the screen of hordes of demons right Agree. Oh, this like power Agree. fantasy that's like i th think it's pretty standard Agree. but like but when i don't know like if as long as you practiced enough to like go through the campaign fast and then you have enough experience to put together a build or copy a build guide well enough to you know blow up the screen and you play 16 hours a day with a efficient currency strat that lets you buy those early items faster than other people before they spike in price or whatever i think you should be able to do that that's fine and how long though how long what, what, you sure, you're talking about literally in two days like how like how long to to do what to do full atlas to hit, and... that, to hit that power fantasy of being a god because i agree i agree you should 100 percent be able to be a fucking god mm -hmm. and you should be able to like make a build know, that eventually hours, does 25 30 hours let's say oh i, I, I mean that's I that's day two right if you play like 16 hours a day get an eight hour sleep yeah. that's day two right end of day two or whatever you'll you, you'll you'll get there i mean that means you're pushing through so much and you you're you're kind of getting a little power spy because you're doing it so early and so efficiently that you can get there earlier it might take someone who does it only who only plays two hours a day they're probably not gonna get there in 40 hours right they're probably gonna get there in 100 hours because they're they're doing everything less efficiently whatever you do well, as a streamer or as an efficient right? game is just an accelerated version of of someone else doing it over time right okay, what about a so if someone though? can get there in a hundred hours but they only play two hours a day it's gonna take them two months to do it what about what about, player. Player. What, what, what about an SSF player what about an SSF player that's able to player. achieve the same thing right like, i don't have enough knowledge about like ssf progression to, oh, well, to you talk what about that, does? maybe a weekend 
You could have you get seen there Khan's gameplay a lot. Have you seen Khan's gameplay? He he basically oh, did from the entire almost the entire. I think for the first yeah. like maybe he's a little bit of friction in the first yeah. like just like, just getting to maps. But once he gets this little Slayer build online and he has like Uber Lab and stuff, it is literally that you could not tell the difference between him going through white maps, yellow maps, and red maps. Every time he just he jumps onto a screen, mm -hmm. he swings, bone shatter explodes the entire screen. He okay. does it again. <laughs> I don't know there's so much point you're making. <laughs> what, what, what I'm is saying is, about? I'm saying I think oh, I think that's dumb, right? I think there should be. I think I. I I feel like the power fantasy should be um far later so they right should like, nerf, like, they should nerf karn is what you're saying like no, no, he not plays fucking really efficiently really long hours with no downtime with no fucking you know hideout is lava basically i don't know what what do you what do you want to nerf about no, no no what i'm saying is like the fact that you in white maps upon literally getting the maps you can immediately one shot everything i do you, you know do you not see that being a problem because so you got a good build no, no i don't think so if okay. you have a, if no, you have no, a I mean, good build good. that you like Test it out and and it works with with low gear or oh, you know enough. has decent clear yeah and I mean PoE two is gonna be different they're they're gonna try to slow down the game with PoE two right but at the same time you're Do gonna you have like will, multiple multiple six links so probably not in the end game. The campaign I, I might feel slower. But. I talk with Al Kaiser and he thinks they're going to do a massive slowdown to the point where DPW2 is going to be similar to something like uh, D4. Um, mm -hmm. G and, uh, I think I, I agree I, with I, that in the in the early part. Like the first so first campaign is going to be slow, right? Because you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. You're not doing like muscle memory questing. Like you know which zone you're in and you know, okay, I got to go top right here. Okay, I got to go bottom right here. It's going to be all new experience. You have no idea. Every corner, that could be a new fucking boss with mechanics that can one shot you. We have no idea. The first campaign is going to be slow for sure. But after that, you're at the end game and you have access to multiple six links. So you can have a clear six link for, yeah. you know, AOE. And then you have a single target six link for boss. And then maybe multiple four link movement abilities and, and other cooldowns or whatever. I don't know. I'm, I feel I like end game is going to be just I, as I, fast. I, I, I... Well, I think it's going to be fast, just as fast, if not faster. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah, I think, I think again so. is bad, though. I mean, do you, what do you think they should be slowing down Pee or speeding up Pee Like after you know mm. playing a game like Diablo Four. I don't have a I don't have a strong opinion on this. It could be faster, could be slower, it could be the same. I don't know. It depends depends on on what content you're doing. Like if you're if you're setting up like a bossing character, then you're not gonna like zoom zoom, right? You're gonna like walk in the boss area. And then you have some giga single target ability that you're going to spam on the boss and the boss is going to fall over. But if you're doing like a mapping build where your sole purpose is mapping and you're going as fast as possible, then you're going to build a fuck ton of movement speed, some nice Herald of Ice explode or, or whatever else explode mechanic you build in. And then that's just going to feel like a nice fast mapping build. I feel like if you spend a lot of currency or time in SSF, you should have a strong character and you should be able to feel like a god, right? I, I feel like you should have to get there. I think I feel like you should have to get to that point, but it should be in the high 90s, like nine, level 97, 98. You should be able to finally mm. get to that point where your character is like a literal beast that can hit that power fantasy, hit that spike of yeah. like, oh yeah, I'm trivializing the content, but there should be a journey I don't right, know how much you ramp up. Because right now- I can't relate that to like levels or like, because in softcore you can just buy XP, right? In, in, in SSF, you can't do that, right? Like, what do you do for XP in SSF? Let's say you're level 90 and you're like, fuck, I really need three skill points to put in this new jewel. What's by, your, what's by your course By level, I mean SSF? time, though. I, by level, I mean time. I mean, like, okay, 98 okay, is probably okay, like, so like a week of playing whatever. the game. Yeah. Because I, I, think, um, mm -hmm. I think right now, you see that? You probably see mm -hmm. that, right? Yeah, I think I it turns up like, uh, yeah, you got a graph right here. I think right now in PoE, it's like, it starts off slow, and then you hit maps, and it's like this. And then you just one shot everything, and then it's very similar, right? Then there's a small mm. amount of power gain. And what I would like to see, the game, mm -hmm. though, is something more like this. Just a straight line, kind of, or even Yeah, so like, you so it's a more power. So, mm -hmm. so like, you know, and then, then when you get into the power fantasy, this is like high 90s. This is like, you know, what, not I high think, 90s. I think like, the you've been waiting ideal... for like a week or something. Okay, so my ideal would be your second line, but with spikes in it, where, you know, you get this unique that unlocks a big multiplier oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah, your yeah, build. Yeah, yeah. You get this belt or this, you roll finally this good quicksilver flask that lets you go a lot faster, like all that. Yeah, it's fine, yeah. but that's, then you have this still there, right? It's fine. I, yeah, I totally yeah. agree, and that would happen naturally. Yeah, all right, well, about yeah. Okay, well, then, okay, so ultimately, I think yeah. we fundamentally do uh, agree on that point. Mmm, wait, no, fuck, what was I gonna ask you? Did you get more armor so you don't die on the last level? I'm okay, just wasting right. Paragon points right now. Oh, shit, my bad, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, fuck, let him ask me. Is this a fucking Imperian interviews me in you right now, bro? No, I was gonna ask you this. I was gonna ask you this. Okay, Lake yeah. of Calandra private server, with all your current knowledge of like current PoE, well, uh, past PoE, everything, right? Lake of Calandra private server mm -hmm. PoE, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the full game, everything, but it's Lake of Calandra private mm -hmm. server versus Diablo 4 currently right now. Like, what's a Diablo game? Diablo 4 currently. Oh shit, okay, PoE I just currently... really didn't like the state of PoE at Lake of Calandra. 
and I still have stuff that I want to do in Diablo, so I would just play Hardcore Diablo 4, I think. Okay, purely in its current state versus Diablo 4. Hmm. Like, I have to pick. I can't I can't just play both or have, can't play one more first than the other. Because the thing is, obviously, I played a lot of Diablo 4 because I've, I've already finished my progress in, in Crucible. I played hundreds of hour, hours of Crucible League, and then I did everything I wanted, and then I quit waiting for Diablo 4, I'm saying, and which I'm ones, playing Diablo 4. I'm so saying, like, which one's objectively a better game? If you had to just pick one and the other one, the, what, you, what, the other one gets game. deleted. Fuck. The other one, which one is just the better mm -hmm. game? Well, if you had to play the game, if you had to play the game, well, you know, you just mm -hmm. pick. You had to give one a rating, and then which one has I rating basically? Fuck, that's hard. Poe has infinite content, so that it will it will always win out on the amount of things you can do. But the combat of Diablo Four is way more fun than the combat of Poe. I think True. as of right now, Poe like Two fucking... might change some stuff but like the, the the moment to moment combat of diablo is the most fun in any arpg i've had and i've played like fucking forty thousand hours of arpgs like i've seen life. you and, bro and like the the poe does not have that like responsive reactive meaty barb slam sorceress frost Nova, like everything just works so well in diablo but after like a couple of hundred hours you will run out of things to do in diablo unless you set some crazy goals for yourself uh, or you know try 100% like all achievements or stuff like that so like Diablo 4 with like one or two or three more years of like constant updates can become an actual like 10 out of 10 game or you know 9 out of 10 9.5 out of 10 game PoE right now as it is has insane amount of content but I have already played it for 12,000 some hundred hours and I'm just waiting for the next update to play again. So I think these seasonal game I can't really pick one or the other like which one's a better game. Each game does things some things way better than the other one and I appreciate those things about it like the combat in Diablo or the amount of content in POE. So like I don't think I can pick one ju just one. I would just say yeah, POE's better. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, for, I mean, yeah. but, uh, and I mean, I mean PoE, PoE two will make all the graphical stuff where it's currently lacking compared to like Diablo much better, and yeah. then hopefully with seasons Diablo four will add more content, which is where it's lacking, and then hopefully the fucking UI changes, we get a filter, we get a fucking you know set stash search feature, maybe yeah, keys that look different, so you don't though, have to read. <laughs> going going back to the fundamentals of D four though, right? Yeah. Like itemization, build creation. Yeah, PoE has all of those things way better. Yes, and, and, I, well, I don't they, think that's they, arguable. And I feel like they started with that though, and that's from the seed of you know, it's like it's like uh the beginning. Yeah. So wait, okay, well that's interesting though. Okay, so wait, what do you think about? Okay, so I get you. You don't want to make a decision on that. What do you? What do you? What are your D four takes? What are you? What are, you, what are we talking about? It's a power gamer group blaster. You you know you literally quit a league I mean, because they fucking nerf drops out, rates. I put out like a half an hour feedback video yesterday on on all the problems that I think Diablo four has. So if oh, you shit. know someone at Diablo you know wants to watch that, that's I may good, I may I watch that. It sounds like good content. You can react it if you want. Yeah. Sure. But then again, you're here right now, so you can just give me like the you can just tell yeah, me like so, and I can ask you I mean, questions. It's, the all of the ui stuff needs to improve overlay map filters search feature that's like the basics clan functional clan system it currently doesn't have that it has a clan system but it's not really functional what else uh content you know more dungeon objectives more stuff to do at the end game who is hobbit 69 <laughs> anyway don't 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 even, do not even Jesus um, fucking Christ. Wait, the, I, 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 I should have clicked on that. My bad. I'm sorry. I clicked on that during while, that's you're, fine, that's fine. while you're preaching. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Right. I agree with everything uh, you're saying, though, so far. Literally everything you're saying yeah. so far is. Uh, XP shouldn't be map wide. It shouldn't. You shouldn't. True. The best way to group play shouldn't be to go in a map and go four different ways and not play with your friends. I think that's dog shit. True. Um, it can be, you know, it, it can be, I don't know what the word is, but if you let people kind of go a little far from each other that's okay like you know you can split when the map like sp splits into a little circle you can go two different ways you should still get xp yeah. sure but it two shouldn't be map -wise. you shouldn't be right. like at the start of the map you get xp when someone kills the boss or something that's stupid yeah like proximity like, yeah. like they're on your mini map or something like two and a half screens three screens max yeah 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 exactly that's fine. Also, um, what were we saying before that? Oh yeah, the items. You, you, you give me. I oh, yeah. wish uh, uh. there was more, uh, more interesting stats on items. Apparently, Necro has more. I need to look into that. But like, you just want CDR on everything because your cooldowns are OP, and you just want crit and vuln because those are multipliers, and then yep. core because you're attacking with a core skill, and that's 90% of items and builds in the game. Uh, that's Not kind of build, kind of boring, yeah. I think. But uh, if they added like AOE, like scalable AOE or yep. resource on kill or resource on hit, you know, stuff that actually 
makes you think, oh shit, should I actually drop CDR for this? Should I actually drop movement speed for this? Thinking about, or speaking of movement speed, why the fuck is movement speed capped? It should not be capped. It's an action <laughs> RPG. If you want to fucking forego damage or survivability to go faster, you should be able to do that. It should not be capped. No, that's, I that's agree in that respect that in, right. they should 100%, well, they, they should cap it by limiting the amount of total rolls you can get in your gear, right? And yeah, that's yeah, the, sure. Like, if you can get it on every piece you, you can get yeah. it, you, you should be able to take advantage of that. That should be the cap. Yeah. yeah, unless the only artificial caps I think make sense are ones where you can get like invulnerability, yeah. right? Or, yeah. or something that's like, uh, you know, anything yeah, that gets, sure. once you get to 100%, like if you get to 100% CDR, you have no cooldown, so mm -hmm. you get 100% block, yeah. you just can't take, you know, damage from attacks, whatever. But outside of that, you should not cap. Like, artificial caps do suck. Like, you, you know, I have people saying, uh, you know, they uh, we were playing a frenzy bob and the second attack speed. Oh, what? There's an attack speed cap. Like, that's fucking, why is yeah. there attack speed? Let's, let's, let's just limit their ability to get attack speed if you don't want people to get that attack speed. Don't fucking cap that shit. Yeah, yeah there's attack speed caps in the game. Look at these guys fucking didn't even know, brother. Wait, so you took, okay, so wait, are those your only grace for the itemization? You not have, uh, like, it, mm. when I think of itemization, we're talking aspects here as well. I kind of like that there's only four mods on gear. Maybe they'll do like a five five mod items in World Tier 5 or 6 or whenever, I don't know. But they need more stats for that. And then the powers. Yeah, some of the powers are pretty unbalanced. You just like pick the top five for your thing and then maybe you have some choice for utility or resource. But there is not enough powers for you to make meaningful choices right now. Um, you, you, you just you. kind of pick the best stuff and then everything else is just 5% or 10% worse than what you picked. So you're just- How like different do you think it is? Trolls of those powers. To Diablo hmm? 3, in terms of how different do you think it is to, to Diablo 3? How different? Like are, are, you, are you angling like, for the for the powers are basically sets angle? Well, I'm just trying to see if that's how you feel as a Diablo gamer, because you're a Diablo blaster. No, I, I don't think it's exactly like that. It's not It's not like you put on your six-piece set when you, like, ding 70, and now you can do the Nightmare 100 content, content like, easily. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, uh... yeah, but you're describing, oh, I have... These are locked in. Like, okay, I'm playing fucking uh, Pulverize. Okay, I have to wear the thing mm -hmm. that says 300% Pulverize. Okay, I have to wear the thing that makes my Pulverize to a yeah. DGN plus 10. Yeah, exactly. Earth, and play, and if you I had to... something that Pulverize is now free, but does, I don't know, X less damage or you cast it slower or whatever. Like if if there were powers that make you think about not picking the 300% pulverized, that'd be great. Like I said, just more powers will will hopefully alleviate you, that. And the do you think it's just bad design? Of the existing powers. Like specifically tying a fucking bad, like, instead, Yeah, you know, maybe. Like instead of, um, I, I agree with a specific thing if it's like, okay, it literally like this thing doesn't give you damage, but it just purely, if anything, it modifies the, the damage pattern of the ability and then maybe slightly reduces yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Right, like, outside of that though, I feel like, uh, you know, they just should never tie it. Like, you know, if they say Whirlwind has fucking 40% crit when you're channeling, like, why doesn't mm -hmm. it just say when you're channeling any skill, you get 40% crit, right? Yeah. And then, oh, now, oh, wow, it's worked. When they implement new skills across the board, you have more options. And when, you know, you have other classes, yeah. guess what? That you can yeah, you have more potential that items. Whirlwind, Whirlwind has 500% increased AOE, and it, like, covers almost the full, who's full screen, but it has 90% less damage. And if you can okay. get some giga damage everywhere else, then you okay. can have a full screen Whirlwind be everywhere. That would make you I consider not totally taking the crit power, that, right? Though. That's too much, but yes, okay, you're exaggerating. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's a hyperbolic example, obviously. Yeah, but, yeah, no, but that's like a kiss with a curse. That's a choice, yeah. right? You know, yep. I mean, you know, you the, want is... choices, and you you don't want choices like, oh, I got the better thing finally because I've been using the bad thing or the worst thing, and now I can switch to the better thing. You want choices like, oh shit, this one's actually really good, but sh but I really don't want to drop this other thing. Those are the good choices in ARPGs, right? With that make you consider you really don't want to lose something, but you want to use this new thing that you found. Uh, those are those are like cool moments. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I mean, okay. D4 skill tree, bro. <laughs> what do you think about the skill? What do you think about the, you the D4? The, you mean the branch, <laughs> the skill branch? Yeah. I don't know. Pick either Vuln or you know one 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 second CC. I don't know. It it, it needs more choice. Again, it's just the same thing. It's more choices. If that was like four things to pick instead of two at the end, that would yeah. make you consider those four more than the two, right? What do you think about and the D? Okay, which has more customization, dude? D three uh, skill customization, like or, or in terms oh, of okay. like the, the actual like the. I thought you were gonna ask Poe or Diablo four. Like, no, I'm not D three. I'm <laughs> saying literally the D three. Okay, five runes okay. and four passives versus D fours. You got many trees, but you know, obviously it's linear, and you've got like a few it's passives. It's kind of similar because in D three, the biggest choice 
was that which element you take. Like basically, if you find the bracers with like 20% fire damage and your amulet has 20% fire damage, then you're gonna pick the fucking fire rune on your skill because even if it's 10% damage worse on the on the skill rune, your amulet and your bracer are gonna more than make up for that in elemental damage. So it's like I don't know. It's kind of similar to D3. I feel like when it comes to choice. In D3, there wasn't much more choice, choice either. In, do you think more choice or less choice, though? Because, I mean, it was function, like utility skills. It was like five runes for utility. Like, for example, ep like, you know, Epiphany runes or, for example, mm -hmm. Serenity runes. Or, I mean, yeah, there was, you, I'd say there was more choice in D3 when it, come to, when it came to utility, specifically. Well, I mean, I'm yeah. talking about build diversity, though, right? Like, straight up. I'm talking like the like character customization skill tree. Like, whatever the fuck the thing is in D3 that you would call the skill I tree. I feel like, like there is about as many viable builds in D4 release than there was in D3 release. Okay. Both right, games yeah. are made by the same company, so you can't say like, oh, this was made by a garage of three people, and then this one was a multi-player dollar company. They're... Both was made by Blizzard. I think if we're comparing a release version of the game, we should probably compare it to a release version of another game. Path of Exile is a little bit different because you could like Path of Exile when it came out, it had two acts and then half of Act Three, and Piety was the final boss, and the game had none of the content that it has now. Okay, so people are like comparing current yeah, yeah, that... with ten years of content creep. Again, it was back then. It was only made by like three people, literally in a garage. But of course now people expect more from a multi-billion dollar well, no, no, company. Right, and that's, gonna... that's reasonable. You... You've got to place it in the context of they were a triple A, you know, Blizzard is a triple A company yep. with millions yep. of dollars, and they've just built yep. another game and they have all the lessons from the it previous game to learn safe. from, right? Yeah, you know. and, the, and but, they still failed on some stuff, like some of the UI stuff. Like, they literally came up with, with came, they literally invented the overlay map, and then they, like, didn't put it in this game because they think oh, that it shit. will take you out of the immersion. But at you... the same time, now you're, like, staring in the corner of your stream, stream at your minimap when following the line that you marked that you opened your map and it took, took you completely away from the immersion because now you don't even see the game and then you're getting hit by something while you're looking at your map trying to find out where the altar of Lilith is. I don't know, like uh, overlay map is like no excuse. It should be an option, I think. Um. Well, I don't know. I, I was on the fence about this before it came out. I was like, you know what? I can see where they're coming from. And honestly, maybe they've got a point. And now I've played it. I, I can't say that I'm sitting there going, man, I wish it was an overlay map. I can't I can't say that that's me. I got used to it. I don't I don't care, but it would be nice to have an option. It's just, uh, now, it's just now kind of annoying to, it, to right? constantly like tap your map. Yeah, because Diablo 3 was the same way. Diablo 3 didn't have an overlay map either. You I don't even tab it that while you had your map open. The only time I tab it is if it's one of these fucking objective things that you've missed and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, where is it? And then you go and yep. you find it, right? But outside of that, yeah. I don't. I yeah, once you're done with the, the overworld uh, stuff and you like completed your altars and your renown and whatever, you don't really need the map like almost ever. Like you mark the world boss from town and then you just run there, you follow the line or whatever. It's fine. It's it's not the biggest issue for sure. Well, I mean, I if you had to choose, bro, it's between having an overlay map thing okay or having just a health bar above your head what would you choose health bar above my head yeah sure. fuck why yeah. do they have that it, shit bro I, like fucking hell yeah that, i like, mean i didn't like, give a i didn't care when i played softcore but i started playing hardcore now and uh yeah i would really like a health bar above my head holy like, shit like looking down at my hp all the, the time enemies, man like that's why sucks. why the what the fuck what why, yeah. why can't they put a little green health bar in like that's actually one of the fucking biggest easy things that keep you immersed in the game because you don't actually have to keep because yeah. that's something you do have to look at constantly right you take like a big and you're like, oh fuck, you know, you're yeah. like, oh, did I just get my about to die? Yeah, and you're like, like focused know. on the combat, you're like looking at this elite, you're getting out of this fucking explosion or whatever, and at the same time, some archer is shooting at you, and you're like, don't notice the health bar going down. Yeah, Ugh, fuck me. Okay, so wait, then overall, you are pretty, I feel like, pretty positive. So, wait, what do you, what do you, what do you like, um, what do you overall D4 vibe and you know, like current, not like what it could be in the future, all mm -hmm. that shit. Like currently now, bro, like what are you fucking It's a good you? couple of hundred hours at least. And I think that's a good start. Yeah, of course I want more. I want more content, more shit to do, more pinnacle bosses, more whatever. Like, yeah, of course. But uh it's uh it's I think it's a good start. It's uh at least at least a hundred to hundred and fifty hours per class if you're gonna do like, you know, level ninety plus, try like a builder to do most things. I don't know Listen, it took me 77 hours to get to 100. That's a long time. And that was with efficient, you know, split you group me. XP farming yeah. in the best dungeon or whatever. Like, that's, uh, I think that's a lot of time. That's longer than a PoE League Start 100, even without five ways. 
like uh, like if you just map efficiently like beyond mapping or whatever to 100 leak start is like 30 35 hours rob did it in uh, 56 i did it in i did it in 77 so that's a long time 200 and even at 100 you're not quite done you still have to level all your glyphs to 21 you still have to do all your renown which is another Wait, 10 20 30 I'm hours so like bro. 100 My hours done. Say. i have i'm i'm doing mm -hmm. like almost every yeah i mean now. you took I'm... a different approach of course you're gonna play it differently on, on hardcore mm. i would have leveled glyphs way earlier if uh yeah if i did that mm. Jeez Louise. Wait, and what are you, Nightmare Dungeons, bro? Nightmare Dungeons. The new change is amazing. Holy shit, they are so much better. But uh, they need more loot as well, not just more XP, I think. Wait, do you think do you think they've over uh, though? Do you think they've over? Because you can get to like a hundred. I feel like you can hit a hundred and like from what I'm seeing the XP wise, I, I, it's like ten to twelve dungeons and I dang. Even at like level ninety five plus, right? It's Which, pretty. I think it's pretty close to efficient four way split XP farming in the best dungeons from before, which is nice because now everyone has access to this and everyone can just run nightmare dungeons. Of course, most things in group are gonna be more efficient, but if you're you if you're doing your own those. solo challenge or whatever, then then you, obviously you're not gonna get that. But is it better though? I don't know. Group if it's really better. shines on on stuff where you can actually split for objectives. Like if you know you have to return three objects if you're solo. You have to go for the first object, return it. Go for the second object, return it. Go for the third object, return it. If you're three three people, you can just split and do it in one go. It's like literally three times faster. Yeah, but so, if you can, do you not think there's a limit? Do you not think if people hit the level 100 in say like sub 20 hours, isn't that like too much? To, that, I like, don't think you, they would sub 20. Well, I mean, you, I feel you think like it, it could you be. think it would go from 56 to sub 20? I, I feel I like it's around so. 30 hours or something right now. I don't know. From what I mean, I'm totally guesstimating. I feel mm. like if someone was to just zerg and speed level up, you would be like, I don't know. 30 hours maybe it may be less maybe even to 20 i don't know you know what i'm saying that you don't think they have a, have a chance no, that i think maybe gone over i think it's between 30 and 40 if I, if I had to guess like right now like softcore but i haven't practiced i haven't done like fresh runs of like softcore no campaign to 100 or whatever it's it's possible that it's doable under 20 but i i don't think so maybe 30 Dude. 35 god damn yeah which yeah, is kind of similar to poe Hundred. I think PoE just, there's I think a lot more fast. to do in PoE. So when people see like, oh, you got 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 hundred in Diablo, that's it. The game is done. I mean, not really. There is uh, you can you can push all sorts of stuff, but it's right now it's only the nightmare dungeons and the uh, and. Do you not think hitting hundred that, that you can really push? And PoE is hmm? too fast right now. Would you not say hitting hundred in PoE is too fast? Too fast. No, I hate hitting hundred. I, I mean, I've never hit hundred ever. I, no. I, I, I but deliberately what's, what's kill my weird gears off. Is that it's it's the scaling is so different, right? Like in PoE, you get to like ninety and then 95 and then it slows way the fuck down in diablo 4 99 to 100 takes about as much as 90 to 91 which is kind of weird it's kind of weird that it's just kind of linear at the end you're like expecting it to slow down and you're just like popping off at level 99 and xp is like moving like you're 98 right now just doing chill dungeons and the xp bar is moving your xp bar was, would not be moving in poe right at 98 yeah well so I, i'm kind of, of the opinion the that, that i mean what do you think about this mb i'm of the opinion that people they shouldn't even be balancing the game where people hang they should pick a number like 95 or 90 and then obviously they had to fuck with the scaling thing a little bit with armor scaling and all that mm -hmm. shit but that basically stopped the scaling of armor beyond a certain point and then yeah you never they need to buff resist possible well, nerf armor or something with scaling yeah resists are pretty useless right now and armor is really fucking good but, but oh shit before we before we were talking about like the problems the biggest problem i think is the item scaling uh to your level that is absolute dog <laughs> shit i really who that. tested that who if, you, you think? if you find like an insane item on your sork and your level 100 you can never use that item on any other class. literally who <laughs> that is like, so dude, bad. i don't understand how did someone actually play the game and think yeah this is fine like do you not think that any person yeah. even just like literally anyone you could get fucking i don't know dude who's like the mo i mean why don't we talk you could get like i feel like co carnage would play this and be like this is stupid right or someone who's not yeah, even an anyone, RPG guy anyone who wants to would log in and be like what the fuck like you have a high level character and you find like an item that you could use in your alt or you could trade you can't because it's just scale to your level so the only people who can buy it is who are at your level or higher. So, yeah. Also, who do you think thought that the current stash tab amount was correct? Like... Whoever knows that they're gonna sell them in the future, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but then it's it blows my mind. Even even if they're selling them in the future, though, think about it. Like you just you don't even. I feel like the stash space isn't even enough. Like, do you think for even one character, it's enough? Like one level one hundred character, do you yeah, think the stash space not, is even? It's not enough. I also listed that in the video. Obviously, I can't come up with everything that I listed in a, like a half hour video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is, stash, like... the stash issues is 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 big. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm saying these enough. things that are like... Even if you play one character and multiple builds, it's not enough. And then if you want to roll another one, you're going to have to start making mules. Do you so, not think that yeah. somehow there's been some massive problem with QA and Blizzard? Like, that they have... like the, the people who are testing the game, literally... Like, how is that not... How's that feedback not got to them? Like there, there had to be a... Do you, not, do you not think there's a massive failure? I don't think that's what QA does, but I'm not a game dev. But I think QA is supposed to break things, and as long as they don't break, they're fine. Like, well, that's QA is feedback, right? balance testing or... I mean, yeah, they can give feedback, of course, but QA is like, here, we just made Frozen Orb. Use Frozen Orb in every fucking scenario you can think of. Shoot it against the wall, shoot it outside the textures, shoot it at Butcher, shoot it at this range, so make sure nothing ever crashes, nothing ever, you know, there's no interaction that, like, breaks the game and it works. And, like, okay, Frozen Orb is good to go. But QA I feel like, is not like... What well, like... Frozen Orb could have some more interesting powers, yeah, don't you think? I feel so like it is have that, some players... That's not no, QA. That's, no, that, I think that's it is, MB. I think it is. I think it is. No, this ability feels unfun. They want feedback. Like, is the ability fun? Is the ability not fun? Do you think that you could, you know, I feel like that 100% is what they do. I'm just like, if you're playing the game and you're QA, like, they should be like, hey, I mean, that's just it's clearly a problem. Or alpha testing. They, I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm sure QA can give all sorts of feedback, like on balance, if they want to. But that's that's generally not what QA is for. QA is like quality assurance that the game is at a quality. It doesn't crash. It works on every hardware. It works in every scenario, right? But yeah, I mean, mm. again, I'm not a game. Okay, dev, oh, well, but... even beta testing. Do you think that? that I mean, they, there's yeah. some at some level they have massively failed like because uh, i could you know with some things that are just really obvious like the item level mm -hmm. requirements the stash yeah, pace the stash. even just if you played yeah. an old character and you look at the map and you're like wait why is the map not exploding more when i've already fully explored yeah, the map yeah, in my yeah. main like things like basic ass shit like that where it's mm -hmm. like i don't know there is some some yeah, i mean would you not agree there's some sort of issue in blizzard in that respect like communication I mean, issue I'm sure there is it's a massive fucking company right like the you, you you look at these like you think about these companies as like oh this is like groups of people there's like a team here there's like four artists in a corner with a bunch of monitors and then there's this lead dev guy that walks in and checks on them oh that that armor set looks really cool but like you look at their like office pictures of like the their Diablo parties they host and it's like fucking 200 people on the picture yeah so and one of those one office those. and there is four other offices like that yeah. like it's so if you have you watched the the credits I, I implore yeah. you to watch the credits I watched from start the finish. I it's an insane things. amount of people that are involved in like making a game like this. It's like it's thousands and yes. thousands of people. So of course, not one of them voice actors for Korea are not right? are not gonna like change the games. How, how did not one of how did Joe Shelley not fucking sit down on his console and play the game? Like, wait a minute, I have no fucking bank space to put my shit in. How did Rod Fergus? How did fucking even this community I mean, they manager? They probably did, and they're gonna sell the stash stamps, maybe. Because they know that POE can get away with it, and so even even though they have a box price on their game and the battle pass, yeah. uh, they probably know that they can get away with it. I would think that every season we're gonna get one free stash tab if you complete the seasonal journey or the battle pass. That's right? so like, that's, we, that's inadequate. That's inadequate. But that's nothing. Yeah, I that think you should do. get one stash tab for every character you get to a certain level. Let's say 50. You should unlock a new stash tab. Maybe pay 10 million gold for it, or 1 million, or 50 million, or whatever. Right? Like, right dude, it people. Can be would grind it and million. buy it. Like, yeah, yeah like, I don't fuck? care. I would buy it. Yeah, fuck. Just give me stash space, man. <laughs> don't make me mule in 2023. Oh my god. It's not god. even like you need one though. It's not even like they need one. They need. They, okay, we need. We need. They need to get the current stashes, bro. In my opinion, this is what I mean. Hear, hear me out. What do you tell, t tell me when you dis if you disagree? Get the okay. current stashes. Just double the size of them instantly. Right? Double size mm -hmm. them instantly. Okay. They need yeah. to get the aspects. Okay. On all aspects you store, store like a, a like a beast at Inha. Where it's like a, mm -hmm. it just it, it go, you 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 get you okay. fucking you, have you, you looked get the aspect? At, it have goes you, Okay. Look at your aspect inventory right now. Switch to your equipment tab. Yeah, I know. It's fucking like and that's so toxic. Just three rows and then your aspect inventory is two rows and then two lines. It's like this. It's like this, bro. It's like, it can't be that expensive. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, why, why is there no fucking third row? Well, no, they, didn't, they need to double all inventories in all the fucking stash apps yeah. instantly. They need to make mm -hmm. all aspects just fucking go to like the Beastmaster, except not the Beastmaster, the fucking occultist, whatever. Um, well, an interface, whatever, like in your in your materials it, tab or occultist or whatever. Okay, yeah. now that aspect's deleted, boom, they have one that's called potions and consumables, right? They also make a map tab that's specific, yeah. that different from your consumable yeah, tab. Yes, why does yeah. the only no, end game share a tab with all of the consumables yeah. in the game when you're supposed to stack them as well? Like, yeah, yeah, that, yeah the, that's the so fact that all of those are consumables, that, that makes no sense. Yeah. Exactly. So then the consumables are just consumables. And then what yeah. they have is that they yeah, have a thing a called, tab. it's called map tab. Yeah. And it just, and it yeah, sorts them out so by just. tier. And you just go, oh, 50. 
Yeah. Boom, it opens up all your fifties. You like click. Yeah. yeah. And then then double the amount of um then just double the amount of uh banks slots. And space then at that point yeah. Yeah. we're good. Because then you have four I don't think you'll find space. a single person that disagrees with any of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> you people are hoarders. That's... You wanna, you wanna fucking save shit. You wanna save your coolest finds, your your big ring upgrade that you grinded for, your fucking your previous, your extra miles that you found, or the it's a rarest game about loot, unique bro. that you have, or whatever. Yeah. ARPGs and are about loot ultimately, and the fact yeah. that we're having to like throw away, like it's painful, bro. You're like, you've got this fuck. Up. Do you know what I've been doing? I've been using a system of like, okay, well, I've just stored my best shit. Then every time I get a new mm -hmm. item, I have to be like, oh, I have to delete something that's really good that I want to use for another build, but now I don't have a space mm -hmm. to store it. So, and you, it's like, you feel yeah. like you have to shoot yourself in the own cock every time you th like get an upgrade, which that's not what it's supposed to be like. You're supposed to be like, yes, I'm going to put it into my stash. Where I'm fucking yeah. putting all my badass loot, you know? Instead of, you know, the sacrifice. It'd be like if you had a house and you just had to keep throwing shit out every time you bought something new, dude. What the fuck? Hey, you know as a house owner, bro. Shit. I mean, you probably shouldn't. You probably shouldn't keep garbage around, but yeah. You're a complete some garbage. Some people have sentimental attachments to some... That some people would call garbage, I guess, so... God damn. Forsen. Oh. What do you think about Forsen? You asking chat? Oh, asking... Wait, you're asking yourself. No, I'm asking you. You. Queen 69. Uh, what do you think what about Forsen? Well, he's like a Swedish hobo that plays computer games, but I love that he's, yeah. you know, just does whatever the fuck he wants. And, you know, he does, he does sometimes involve himself in the drama, but what he does is like this kind of neutral observer kind of meme. And it's like, it's just a classic. Based. You yeah. know, I think it's, I, honestly, when it comes to a lot of things, I feel like most streamers, okay, I think like 98% of streamers need to be more like Vorsen in some respect. Yeah. And I think he's probably they the best wish, streamer on Twitch. They wish they could be like Vorsen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, doing it. Uh, it's it's the um, it's the apathy towards all like the fucking everything. you know all yeah. the streamer shit you know that I that I love. Yeah, it, it's yeah, kind yeah. of is everything, but yeah, it's kind of in a cool yeah. way. You know, I, I yeah, I am. Well, I'm a big. I'm a guy drama family. farming. Speaking of drama farming, I'm sure there's something else Yo! you want to ask. Oh, oh, you want to get into some drama? You want to get into some drama? Okay, 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 okay. We we can fucking. We wanna play, he wants to talk with. Hey, he wants to. He wants to talk about it. He wants to talk about some yeah. drama. Okay. All right, let me let, let me lose it. So on YouTube, um, you made a video called uh, Empyrean Gaming, uh, wanting no Turbo. Oh, yeah, you wait, made a video. Not, yeah, here oh, we go. No, you made a video called Diablo what Three. What do if you got banned in Diablo Three? <laughs> Most people have not watched this video. They have read the title and they assume that I got banned because I bought it. I haven't. Yeah. Oh, this, okay. is a, oh, this is a picture overlay that I put up. And if you watch the video wait, 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 for we'll 10 watch, seconds. We'll watch the video. Okay. Watch the video. Watch the video, dude. Let's watch it. Let's watch, right. let's, let's let people watch it. Jesus. Holy cringe. Wait, it's a it's a good video, bro. It's a good video. Okay, this is old MP. Wait, how old are we here? What are we talking about? How how old is MP in this in this uh in this video? How old is MP in this video? How old are you in this video? I'm 33 now. What is what is this from? Seven X, years ago, probably. Years ago? Yeah, I'm guessing. I think it's seven years ago. So yeah, seven, three. Hey, okay, we're the same age, by the way. 27, 28, whatever. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, based. Okay, here we go. Math. Hey guys, how's it going? Empyrean here. So there has been a second ban wave, and a lot of you might have um, logged on to a similar screen here, and um, I'm gonna tell you what to do in this case. So if you're like me and you're using OBS to project this overlay, then what you can do is just get rid of this. Oh, damn! Uh, fine. <laughs> but if that's not an option for you, then that means that you've been using one of two software. One of them is called Demon Buddy, and the other one is called Rossbot. Now, <clears throat> what you have to do in this case is that you're gonna have to purchase the game again. That is, <laughs> assuming that you want to continue playing Diablo 3. You're gonna have to purchase the game again, and... You can do that on the official Blizzard site, Bro. or you can do that on G2A.com using my 3% code MP. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're gonna have to install it again, probably. And then you're gonna have to play it without the use of these two aforementioned software. Thanks for watching and see you Dude, next time. Dude, that video was so based and so high end and just, it was just, I love it. It was clever. And it's funny, it's so clever that two stupid people who just look at the headline and the news, like, I like the fact you know, I wake up, like, a bunch of people are just gone, our leader <laughs> position, like, jumped, like, oh shit, let's go, finally. 
they it, they it took them so long to do like band waves for this shit like back in the day so it was it was a happy day every morning when uh you yeah see so that what happened what was the inspiration behind this video just to like just to dunk on these fucking bozos or i i just hated hated the fact that we're like competing against people who have 24 hour play time like what the, how the fuck do you compete like we Go play 18 right. hours a day and it's not enough like yeah just feels bad so you but, were um, in the you were in the clan zero empathy the eu andy clan yeah, how yeah. like how many people um got hit there from your own clan um one or two i think who, who I, I, this was seven years ago man so i don't remember exactly but we had a pretty zero tolerance for botting at the time and, and as soon as anyone got found to be botting we removed them from the clan that was the that was Base. the state of things like Base. Yeah. and who was that who was that wait do you remember Cole? like uh no i don't and i don't <laughs> think it was Rudy Joe, if that's what you're fishing for as far as i know I have never seen Woody bots. I like I've never seen him online and like not respond or like stuff like that. Like maybe he had other accounts where he farmed multiple bounty caches or whatever. Like people were taking free bounty caches from bots. That was pretty like that was a thing that was happening. Like people there were communities where you could just like mm. join games and there were bots clearing bounties and you did a couple of bounties and then you had a full game and you took all the caches. Like they were that prolific. Was a thing. But the, like voting on season? an account, I don't think Woody Woody ever did that. Mm. Uh, people were using auto hotkey scripts to basically bypass numlock. So yeah. like numlock trick worked in Diablo 3, right? Like you could literally numlock an ability, yeah, yeah. turn off numlock, and then it would continually use that ability. People yep, were using auto hotkey scripts that did exactly that, just so that they don't have to use the numlock trick. And yep. there is a theory that there was a band wave that was a little wider than the bot band waves, and they it caught a bunch of people who were actively using a lot of auto hotkey no, stuff. But do you not think? So do, I, you, do you not? So in your video here, you say either they're mm -hmm. botting or they're using. Yeah, some I mean, this tool. is a meme video that's supposed to like call out and dunk on botters, but like, yeah. I mean, yeah, generally, I think that's what they banned for is botting. What, so I don't know of anyone that only got banned for using Turbo Hot and never used anything else. Yeah, I was gonna say but, this uh, is a question. Do you know? Yeah. In, have you ever ever heard of like? Like, like, mm -hmm. known anyone who you trust is it being banned by for just using Turbo? Hot? No. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. I have, I have personally used Turbo Hot for years, and everyone that I know Based. and I played with also did. Yeah. And uh, no it's... one ever got banned for only that. I still have that account. I still my main account, and I still have all the original like Inferno Diablo kill achievement and all of that. So people yep. are like, oh, you probably got banned like five times because people just like read the title of this video and they're like, oh, this guy got banned. This guy gets banned in every game. Like, I've never gotten banned in Diablo three. Do so. you do you remember even a guy that was an Eastern called Avoid Lol? You remember that mm -hmm. guy? He yeah, streamed yeah. for fucking weeks. Yeah, I remember with, Avoid. Yeah. With with Turbo had activated and it can't really. Get he had he was broadcasting with T had on like with I have not with, seen with that. They, he <laughs> was. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it was like he did it multiple times as a meme. He, he would like basically, I don't know, he had like a, a thing where he'd fucking, mm. um, he would just like be like, oops, and he would like put it on, like capture the whole thing where you could see it. Mm. And um, yeah, but he would literally play the game with it on. It wasn't like a meme, right? Like it wasn't like some yeah. fucking booze. I and, wish, yeah. I wish for a, I wish for a time when something like Turbo Hot is not necessary, and I hope that doesn't like get into Diablo Four because it, it does, it does ruin competitive integrity to some extent. But the the problem is. All of the info that Turbo Hot displayed, the game actually gives you. Turbo Hot just lets you put it on screen all the time and lets you move it around. So like right now, how much HP do you have? You have no idea, but you could mouse over your health globe and check. So mm. Tur what would Turbo Hot do? It was put that number there as if you always mouse over your health and made it a little sm smaller and easier to read or whatever. Or it would move your convention timer, which you want to look at for your big rotations in the middle of the screen. So it's like a wow, wow add-on, right? So yeah. All of this information is available and the game is communicating it to you if you look for well, it. But I, the argument could be made that th this info should be available I, as an I option agree. all the time, like a week or a, yeah. Obviously what you're saying is true. I, and I was on the side of, okay, if you never, if you're gonna basically, if it's prolific, right? And Fucking! I mean, I was I was surrounded, yeah, twenty four seven. You know, like dude, you'd be in a group. Yeah, you, you like, can't get into a group where no one is using it, basically. Yeah, uh, at that point. Uh, yeah. And it was like, and then I'm like, please, just fucking say it's okay, or or. Do something right. about it. Don't just do this shit where they did nothing and they just did nothing. And, and even to this day, yeah. they didn't, they've done nothing, right? Like even, even in like, yeah. they've just done nothing. And it's like, okay, fuck you, Blizzard, for doing that. So if for starters, if this shit happens in D4, either fucking immediately start banning the Diablo guys or, or just allow it. 
Okay, don't don't I don't mm. want a fucking D3 2.0. Now the other question I would yeah. ask is okay, so you mentioned AHK scripts. Okay, I was in clans as well. Like literally you would log into a Z uh, DH and the and as you log into the ZH, you're like, oh yeah, let me send you the scripts through Discord. No, they'd send you an AHK script, which you press a button, it would just like start spamming all your keys, right? And set it so you don't mm. get like RSI. Every mm -hmm. single person ever, uh well, okay, all the Giga Trihide groups and hardcore NA were all doing that shit. I fucking um, mm. was using a macro to, like to, to just spam like uh, like Epiphany to keep Epiphany. I was like, you know. I actually wasn't. I was actually, I was like priding myself on the fact that I can just fucking play the game. Like I, I played a support barb and I was pretty fucking good at it. Like we were pushing like rank one, like every season in the early seasons. Yeah. And I was doing all of that shit manually. I was pressing all of my shouts manually, even though you could technically just auto hot key or, or, or no, but you can just numb shouts. Right? Or, yeah. yeah, I mean, you could, well, but I feel like the, sometimes you, you want to use it when you're group is nearby and if you're two screens away pulling a fucking mob oh, and sure. you your auto hot key presses your shout then your group doesn't get 40 percent movement speed so i was just like it's a lot of key presses but like for a couple of hours of especially pushing like you can fucking do that manually but that, I so yeah i i agree but i not a single one of those people myself included other like pretty much every streamer like rex i mean a bunch of people like all the all these guys mm -hmm. they're all using macros no one ever got mm -hmm. macros that I, I am aware of ever but just using ahk okay. macros so what, what about, about you that. Do you know anyone who's actually been banned for macros? I'm asking you. Have you, have you, do you know any, do you have any, you're Diablo Andy. Do you know anyone who's ever been banned for macros? Just macros. I, I was never that close to anyone so that I could 100% say like, oh, I trust you implicitly so much. And I know that you would never run any software on your PC. Like I have no fucking idea. Like they could be, or they couldn't be, or they could have installed a bot for one night to check it out to how fast it clears one rift, or they could have not, or they could have been using an auto yeah, script that, you... that actually looks at your your health bar and presses a potion based on which pixel is red or not in hardcore or whatever like i don't know what the fuck people do and i don't really care what they do in their oh, yeah, no, 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 but their, I'm asking, their I'm life asking their accounts if they want to risk it like to get banned and if you're yeah, a content yeah. creator whatever else comes with that if they want to risk that to get some competitive advantage then fucking do it and then eat the feedback after or the fallback i don't know well yeah what well then i agree or eat for it but i'm asking you do you did you know anyone? Did you know? Do you have any experience with anyone who got banned for just macros? Uh, no, like, I don't. No, you don't. Okay, so, okay. So then, the only bands you have ever aware of in Diablo three would be what? It was obviously Turbo. I'm uh, not sorry, but fucking uh, Ross bot. Basically, was, botting, and then a I guess any script that would do more than just hold a button, it was or, the one that, or maybe they did for those two. I don't fucking know. Like well, obviously, they, people get banned. They say like, oh, I never did anything. Like you have know. Have you seen but, D3 Helper? You seen that? Have you seen what it does? Yeah, it's it's basically a script that can What's react it? to what happens on the screen, right? It's so injected. like it, it, no, can, it's it, it can heal a potion. It can use a potion because your health is too low, right? As, that's yeah, well, it's, it's injected, right, to the client. It's not like it's, there's ones, because it's like you're talking about like AHK scripts. I, I've, everyone's okay. using AHK scripts. No one's been banned for it. But the, one, the, the mm -hmm. difference is it can read the memory and it can understand what's happening in the game and then press buttons based on like, okay. I mean, Gabe Nader yeah. fucking string with that shit and he was playing mm -hmm. the support bub like you're saying. It, imagine yeah. um, everything perfect. Always only uses shout when everyone's in range. Always does every single yeah. cooldown. Perfectly uses wrath. Yeah, I mean, and it that was sucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I was suck. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? It's like I don't know. So yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, mean I would hope they ban for that, and that doesn't happen in D four. That's it, or like what? <laughs> what else is there to say? Oh yeah, this I agree. Like... I, 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 well, I was just asking. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. We were, we were going into okay. drama, so yeah. I thought I was just curious. So yeah, okay. So yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. It's, 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 it's I don't nice think we hear. disagree on any of this. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad because it, it's one of these things where I feel like I'm going insane when I see chatters. They're all saying, you know, people got banned for Turbo. People got banned for uh, macros and like. Bro, I was there. I, I mean, you dealt with it. Every, all these fucking yeah. cunts, 100% of yeah. time, botting, they got banned. The people were like literally fucking streaming with hacks enabled. Yeah, they got banned. Mm -hmm. I, no one got banned for fucking macros. No one got banned for Dovad. So then, would you say if someone cheated, if some, let's say hypothetically someone cheated, right? And then they got banned and then they blamed it on Turbo HUD mm -hmm. or macros or whatever. Uh, they Technically, just, uh, they can because Turbo HUD is also against terms of service. So Yeah, but, but no one's been banned for it ever, right? <laughs> you, you, would, you, would that not be scummy yeah. and be annoying as fuck? Like, would you not be like, Fuck that guy. No, I don't care. It's been it's been way too long ago for me to care. I obviously people should eat negative like fallback for 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 cheating in a game. I should I get negative lying about fallback, it, right? and I did for years of like using Turbo HUD, right? But like yeah. no one, no one. I didn't get banned for Turbo HUD, and then yeah, but you're admitting you it, right? So using no, I, it, and then, I don't even care. 
you're, you're, you're like, it's like if you if someone admits something, like, you know what, I cheated in RuneScape, bro. I fucking botted the shit out of RuneScape, bro. I had a fucking character mm -hmm. that had 98 strength, 40 attack, and it was farming rock crabs while I was at school, bro. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. fucking, you know, and I, it's like, ultimately, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think what matters is people's current out. actions rather than what they did, like, yeah. seven years ago or five years ago. Like, I, I, I used Turbo Hunt for years in early Diablo 3, and then I stopped using it, and then I moved on and did other things, and I... Yeah. I wouldn't You're use based. it if it came out today. I wouldn't use it, and based. and I and I would shun everyone from using it. That's based. that's it. Like I think whatever you do now matters, and and how you how you handle True. yourself now matters much more than than what you did like five years ago. I and I would you agree that people should just uh, there should be some level of admission and then just move on. Close you. Yeah, sure. Instead of yeah. yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, bad. Well, there we go. Oh, okay. Well, the fucking based, based. <laughs> I'm, I'm, okay, guys. For starters, we'll I feel say like that's I'm a pretty kid. pretty okay. uncontroversial take. Like just fucking. I don't know. <laughs> don't use cheats just, just and then don't, don't lie about it, right? And, and then, then move on. on. Yeah, 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 I agree. That's how, that's what should happen. Okay. And then and then, and then everyone's fucking chilling, bro. Because ultimately, do you think you, you know you've known me for a while, right? I mean, you don't really know me that much, but you have watched some amount of content, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Do you think I'd be hung up about like fucking? I mean, do you think I'm hung up about like some fucking guy who I knew about it and then got banned for it and then came back and played legit? My, you know. No, do you see me? Not. I don't know. Yeah. Like, like if Gabinator came back, I don't know. I would fucking raid him. Like fucking. Yeah, right. I, know, I want Gabinator. My come bush back. was in the way to take my money. He <laughs> was the know. best content like, in that section, bro. Legend. But at the time, at the time, I fucking hated the fact that I like log in the next day when you know we started on the same playing field, and then two days later I wake up and he has like. 18 more hours than us and we slept like six hours a day and uh he has he has the same paragon as us but also has 400 keys ready to blast and we have to sit down and farm torments ourselves like yeah it, it was annoying at the time but like i don't know i don't care about it now like fucking just log in dude and then play the game and don't cheat forehead true base fucking base bro fucking base yo mp base as fuck base as fuck I mean, yeah, but yo, did you um? Are you gonna go on Woody's podcast? Am I gonna what? The thing is, well, okay, this is the thing here, right? So I go on the podcast, right? I go on the podcast. Okay, it's my duty to bring up that shit, right? Because I'm not gonna, I'm, I, I, mm. I have, I gotta bring it up, right? I gotta bring it up. Okay. Okay. Then you yeah. have. Uh, would, would, don't you think that would be a good to, to hash it out? Like, well, no, you, no, no, no. Woody, Woody is a normal person. You could reach out on Twitter, like, yo, yeah, yeah. I would love to go on this podcast, but maybe take like five minutes before, so we don't have this like awkward elephant in the room. Like, let's just hash it out. What do you think? He'll give you his side of the story. Well, he'll, he'll just deny it, right? Out, and then you he'll move just... on and then become, yeah, you know, but, but from your perspective, fellow right? content creators, right? Like, okay, but Bambi, know. Bambi, from your, pers from your perspective, though, right? From your perspective, yeah. you from you seeing the reality of Diablo 3 and stuff, and you've seen, like, hit mm -hmm. all the bans and stuff, it's like, mm -hmm. what is more likely, right? Fucking, would you just got banned for either using uh, some sort of hack script thing which injects into the game, or bought it, or he got, like, some random Blizzard employee specifically scrolled down to which found a stream, angrily flagged him, and then happened to ban him on the same day they did ban wave for bots and hacks right like why would they manually flag that's what like he's saying he's saying he got manually like flagged he's saying he got manually banned now that's his new thing his oh. new thing is i someone... i have not followed up with 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 what this is other well, than what... your chat spamming or twitter spamming <laughs> that you've been like talking about this a lot but like i said i think you guys are both adults and you could just fucking sit yeah, down and hash it out I... instead of like you know yeah, no, no, the thing is, I don't, talking I don't in want... proxy yeah, clip but, but, wars or bringing up but, old stuff no, 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 no. i agree no the thing is i will be totally fine if, we, if basically if yeah. all, all i need is some level of admission right but he's not going to admit mm -hmm. so then I, so then i'm going to go on a podcast with some guy who's just lying about some shit okay. they have an age ago and then i'm promoting some guy who's like basically just I, even to this day again, like going I on podcasts i think you guys could figure this out i think you guys are both adults i have interacted with both of you many times over the years and i think you guys are both adults and you can figure this out it, it uh, you, you bringing it up to other people all the time and like i think it's gonna be worse than you guys just fucking a, sitting down for five minutes i think is the thing is though I, I agree i agree i agree but the thing is though I, i'm i they call me the truth seeker mp they call me the truth seeker because mm -hmm. i do as a truth seeker. and when i clap. when i when i see a truth right that is like obvious to me because would you not agree mm -hmm. that it's very very obvious that it's Likely that you is just lying about getting banned for Turbo. I think have that's... no idea, and you're not gonna get me to say anything. Oh else. no, no, what I'm saying is, you've <laughs> just told me that you've never seen anyone get banned for Turbo in your entire life, and you even used it, and people are using it now. I've also, never oh. seen a teapot orbiting Jupiter, but yeah, I can't that's the thing, know right? that it's not that's there. The thing, right? You can't prove a negative. What? Well, that's the thing, right? I, that's that's the thing. So it would be the equivalent of me being an atheist going into a podcast with a bunch mm -hmm. of um, like super fanatical Christians. 
What is, there's nothing I could say or do to convince anyone, right? Because okay, then nothing, don't. That, then just fucking move on, right? That's like, what I'm saying. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm not going to, right? So then, it, but so then, okay, then it, I, I see, see some. Yeah. So so it's okay. like okay, I'm not going to. So it's, it's kind of like a waste of time. So I feel like you're. I feel like you're locking yourself away from good content in the future by, by, by doing that. Like, it's just kind of, you're like, I don't want to say arbitrarily, but maybe artificially like bricking yourself from interacting with what now one of wanna, the biggest I, Diablo I wanna content inter- creators. I don't want to interact with Lars generally though. Generally a positive force in the in the space and yeah. creating an insane amount of like helpful guides and content for people, so. Yeah, I don't, but I just don't, I, I, I just, I'm just not gonna, I don't want to interact with someone who's lying, they, they move on, if we move on and it's like, okay, they just say fuck. fuck. It's just like ultimately being yeah. a true seeker, bro. I can't, I can't look past it, right? I can't look past. Okay. I do. You guys, I, I fucking hate. That's fair. I, okay. I, I can't. I, I dislike personally at a personal level anyone who's like, you know, a cheats in competitive games and then b like mm-hmm. lies about it, right? Now, if they cheat and then they like fuck I did that and then they they say, hey, I did that and you know what? Fuck it. I, I I'm not gonna do that anymore and I move on. Okay, then I'm gonna move on straight away. Okay. Like all the other mm-hmm. Diablo guys that I play with, even to this day, a mm-hmm. bunch of them got banned. Then they went clean. Like the whole. I mean, do you, do you remember like the? Yeah. Do you remember Red? There was there was a guy called. Red. Red, um, Red X. he was the Red, Red, X. Red X. Yeah, he showed up in my ch- in my chat like a year ago or two years ago. I'm like, wait, I know this name. And then he's the guy who turned on his bot on his stream and then fell asleep. On the <laughs> and then he woke up like 10 minutes later, like, oh shit, I'm still streaming. And I just no, started my sleep. bot on no, no, he went to, no, no, he went to sleep. That is fully. fucking legendary. He, he went to sleep fully. He thought he cheated a stream, but he did. Yeah, he, he actually he just went to bed. <laughs> And then we were waiting. I was there live, bro, waiting for him to wake up. I remember being there, like, watching his reaction of, that like, crazy oh, times. my God. You should, that was fucking, wait, I don't know. That was classic. That was a classic. Yeah. Oh, bro, there's so many fucking good stories. Like, man, so I got names. banana looking and I did at, nothing, speaking bro. Speaking of names, I'm looking at your chat. There's Leviathan. I see he's, like, verified. He works for Blizzard now. I listened to this guy on a podcast, like, fucking 15 years ago, talking to a nine ball about, like, oh, what's going to be the meta in Diablo 3? After we like played the beta, and now Dude. look at him, he's working for Blizzard. Badass. A lot of those brothers are now. Well, I say a lot of those brothers. Well, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot of the old D3 guys actually, uh, in some capacity, yeah. are Blizzard guys now, which is crazy. Which is kind of cool, but then it's like, we need we need Levi. Yeah. He was stuck on. You guys, yeah, say, Bloodshed. What about Bloodshed? Like he was he was like a content creator, and then he's now Blizzard, I guess. Like what? Yeah, he's they're market, poaching, he they're like, poaching he, the content creators. <laughs> we're gonna have no one left. <laughs> Riker, Riker is basically like he's pseudo employed at this point. Yeah, yeah Riker as well. Like Riker is like ZGD for GGG. It's like Riker for <laughs> the Apple <laughs> universe. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. Hundred percent true. The fuck? Well, that you understand. Leviathan is because he's actually he's. I don't know if you know. He's actually good in the game, right? He's actually like he's like mm. not shit. Like he's. I'm mm-hmm. talking like super high paragons. Like rank one clears. Literally only SSF. No bots or anything like that. Based. Like actually yeah. ethical. Um. And but they cucked him and they put him on Diablo Immortal, right? Which is obviously like he's not gonna say it's trash, but like it's fucking. Trash. Let's be honest here. Right? It's fucking trash. But they moved his ass. What's more the- unfortunate is the people who worked on the Overwatch 2 PvE. God damn, I feel so bad. Can you imagine working years on Titan and then it gets cancelled and it gets turned into a PvP shooter and like, okay, it's fine. We'll make we'll make a second and then we'll put put the PvE in there. And you work on that for years and that gets scrapped you're like, fuck man. Uh yeah. Yeah, no, hurts. for sure. I think I feel like it, a lot of Blizzard employees probably uh, regret like have, have a lot of you know or you know have a lot of awful stories like that right yeah. but then i'm sure there's, I've, I've met tons of people at blizzard who fucking love it and yeah yo the good news is though leviathan is now working for the d4 team i don't know if you know that hell yeah which means you've got someone who's like we know is not casual right we're talking like this guy fucking dj yeah. games like we're yeah, talking that's fucking good. i like the joe shelley guy i'm gonna be honest what i've heard about the joe shelley guy on the on the fireside devs he said some really good stuff he he wasn't doing pr speak like he sounded like a designer and he's a designer right like he he mentioned the term xp per hour and xp per minute and i would not have guessed that that term would be mentioned on like a casual blizzard fireside chat so like you... I, I i have trust that there's if there's people like that on the on the helm i think they can uh, but you know how joe really got there right stuff to the game you know you know what happened? No, you know I, they... I have no idea. I don't know about any of any of those. Okay, like, so basically, like, the the streams and the... so basically, the dude who was the main guy for Diablo Four, Bariga. Wait, fuck. His name is Bar- basically. Oh yeah, the, I, I, I he, he was a part of the Cosby yeah. suite, and then they immediately were like, oh. okay, he's gone. Mm-hmm. And then they just were like, okay, Joe Shelley. He's now the he's like good, the, good the guy. Up. He's awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, and the thing is, they did that with a lot. They also uh, they also fired a you know. There's, a, there's another. 
there's like a chick who they fucking put it's like that they, they fired some other guy put the chick there and a lot of mm -hmm. these people they feel like they're um almost orns like i don't know how much control mm -hmm. necessarily it's more like a pr thing oh i have no idea about the inner workings of the <laughs> teams at Blizzard. i mean it's pure speculation okay. right but you know just okay. they fired a bunch of people they put a bunch of people there who are like super mm -hmm. neutral and it's like i wonder how much control they necessarily yeah. have over the direction of the mm -hmm. game and everything. What do you what do you think of Rod mm -hmm. Ferguson? What do you what do you what do you what do you Rod completely out of touch? Awesome. Boomer? He he's he seems like like all of the people who were on the fireside shot at least they seem like they're playing the game. Like they might be casual console players and whatever, but that is a pretty big portion of the player base. So they are representing a pretty big portion of the player base. Well, they are you... not softcore trade giga juicers or whatever you want to call them, of course. But like the president of Blizzard, the Mike Ibarra guy, he has a level 100 character. What do you think? And, do you think? And, and what wait, he wait. did is he leveled to 99 on PC and then swapped over to his PlayStation to, to ding 100 and get some 0.01% achievement. That is fucking based. That's based. <laughs> he like tweeted about it too and like, oh my god, that was funny. But do you think? I mean, do you think that guy, so that quick or the president Blizzard? Do you think he's a? Do you think he's a mm -hmm. fucking another another just a PS? He's a blaster, honestly. I think he's a blaster. I mean, unless he a... uh, unless they made all that up, of course. I can't. No, it's not. That, it's real. He, I mean, he definitely it's true. He was doing Mythic Plus, yeah. but I was doing Mythic Plus, pushing super high keys and stuff. Hell like, yeah, that's good. It's good to have people like that at the helm but, that are like. But I don't think they're. I don't know if he's game. at the helm though. Yeah. Do you think? Do you not think there's like a bunch of puppet masters behind the fucking scenes? I, I they they're like, oh, this would be a good. Yeah. Well, that's what I, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. Listen, we can discuss anything that we know about. I, I, I don't think there's much point in that. Oh, but you can, you can uh, hypothesize. You can hypothesize. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's not even. Sure. What well, do you not like? Do you not like talking about? Um, I mean, do you not like conspiracies? That? No. Do you, do you only like speaking absolutes only? No, not not necessarily absolutes, but like I don't know things that we can just like think of, you know, okay. in our minds. Okay, okay. I'll give you an absolute. Have no right bearing here. in, in reality. I'll give you an absolute. Rod Ferguson. Okay. Said in a okay. tweet that yo, there's no advantage. Uh, I can't. Remember, I'm paraphrasing right now. You remember the tweet? He said basically. Oh, I remember the tweet. The I also quote tweeted that it was a dumb take yes i mean yeah. they they basically walked that back right so i mean they got the backlash for that that was that was a stupid tweet but yeah so you but you still think i'm not gonna defend like dumb you're, statements that they make. like i don't care i'm not on their rod. payroll mm, interesting interesting one back sweet however i also saw rod ferguson tweet today and he's playing a thorns necro did you see that i did i saw i can show chat so they know what you're talking about Let me yeah yeah there. show him he's like he's like tweeted a video of his thorns necro and it's like uh whenever some boss like uh fire breathed on his minions the boss just dies because he's fire, fire breathing on like Okay, good. Sorry, no spoilers. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. Here's the gameplay right here. So he's on the necromancer. He's on console, obviously. Got a capture card and everything, bro. Yeah. Goddamn. Can we get a boss here? Level 65 boss. Okay, boom. And fire breath. Coming. There it is. That does, I'll be honest, that does look satisfying. Although, then again, Thorns builds. They're satisfying sometimes yeah. and then they're infuriating pretty much the rest of the time. Yeah. And you're like, just waiting for enemies to attack. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They're clearly playing their game. They might not, you know, play as much as <laughs> the top content creators do, but that's normal. They have but... jobs. They have to like make the game and stuff, and then promote yeah. it, and then travel all around for fucking press tours and whatnot. Like it's probably pretty exhausting. Yeah. I just I just worry that there's a massive detachment or like. Uh... You know, like, I, I don't know. That, that I they, just hope they I, take you player the feedback the and, and, and improve the game. That's all I can hope for. And, and that's all I can do is, is provide constructive feedback on how to make the game better. And I think that's what every content creator should do if they want to see the game do well. So as long as you're True. doing that, and then yeah, keep, we, can, we can hope. And then we'll see if it actually happens, right? I mean, we'll see if we get fucking more or, uh, backspace, bro. Like, I'm, we're giving feedback about backspace right now. Yeah. Uh, you know. Or we go play Walson. Okay, wait. I'm getting my uh, question list up here. I feel like we already covered that. Wait, have you have you learned to love Pee Wee Group Meta again? Have you like to kind of just totally mm. change the subject? But like, have, we, you, have you? No, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Uh, we haven't done any MF mapping in like three leagues. Dash. The league before with the highest start, and then this league with it five way start. So yeah, we haven't done MF in a while. So you don't love the group Such. gameplay still, or you just would you say there's any love there? It's 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 just in a bad spot in terms of reward for how much like time and how many people's time you put in, you you don't get enough out of it, in in that sense. Yeah. So no love. No love. Minimal love. No, not really. Minimal love. Yeah. Minimal love. Oh shit, bro. Oh shit. Uh, we already asked. Oh that shit. You, you have a. Oh my god. You have an amazing ring on your screen right now. You should buy that. The third one. What? Empyrean wheel. That's pretty anyway, cool that your name, you're like, Empyrean is you always uses an affix. Yeah, it's actually things. typed correctly in this game. PoE has fucking Empyrean, and I keep getting uh, linked to those items all the time, and they're like, oh, look, I found your item. Bro, I streamed this game for 
12,000 hours. Do you think you're the first one? Anyway, not triggered, yeah, by the way. Not triggered. No, I get that. No, I mean, dude, there's, there's I mean, bro, you, it's still cool that there's some shit in that game that's like Imperium, <laughs> yeah. bro. They, they know Quinn shit, dude, let me tell you. Of course. Okay, so uh, you were an girl. elite back in, in D3, right? Okay, they, I'll they take added, that. like Quinn uh, something. Yeah, that was cool. And Riker and a couple more. I don't know if they've removed me now, though, because the Diablo Twitter's unfollowed me and stuff. So, I mean, shit. Oh, shit. Brand yeah, risk. Bro. Uh oh. Fucking stability. Uh, dude, and stability's questions. I've literally, uh, I've already um, asked them all. We've done the cock one. Oh, dog dicks. Okay. Would you. Okay. This is a hypothetical. All right. But this, you're going to treat it like as if it was real. Okay. This is, okay. Wait, 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 wait. You haven't, you haven't even said the question yet, bro. What okay. the fuck? So there's a bus and it's basically being forcibly pushed off a cliff. And the, there's literally no other option, right? To, there's only one thing that can stop uh, the bus from getting pushed off. And it's got a bunch of kids in there. The ages of five to eight. Mm -hmm. uh, there's about eight of them. It's about eight, eight kids. Uh, and then there's a dog dick. Uh, it's a dog in front of you, right? And, and uh, you have to suck the dog's dick to save the kids. Are you sucking the dog's dick? And there's Just, no other way to there's save literally the no other way. I Either know they, this for a fact, but the moment I suck the dog's dick, the bus is going to be magically saved. In this they will be saved. The, yes, they will be saved. There's the only out. So there's either all the kids die yeah. and the dog. The, the, yeah, I'd saved. probably save the kids. Yeah. That's, that's one way of putting it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you would save the kids. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Do you know Ziz would let the kids die? Hmm? Ziz said he would let the kids die, like, unironically. He said there's enough kids. I don't think any of that's serious. I don't think anyone's... No, he was serious. serious he said, but, the, but the thing is, have to know the this kids. would never happen, right? So it would have to be something where this scenario would actually be realistic. Because in you can't imagine a scenario where sucking the dog's dick would actually, like, not make the boss fall off a cliff. So it would have to be, like, would you pull a switch that would that would put a dog deck in your mouth if that switch also <laughs> saved, like, a you know, a boss of kids Yo, from, like, not dying or something? Yo, like, I don't know. Analogy. Bro, you gonna? <laughs> I mean, it takes five seconds to construct a better hypothesis. What the I don't fuck? Know. That's a good one. Oh shit! It's like trolling from like you're like you're making up to be like okay, you dick. walk up to this dog and he's like already hard and the boss is sliding off. You Jeez, gotta be clear. Okay, what you the fuck? Too, this is getting too graphic, MP. Holy fuck, okay, brother! Dude. God damn. A Rick dogs. Okay. Um. Uh, all right. I rebel default game. Take on pure group and stuff. Exile kind life is a bit. D three. Mm -hmm. EU boys. YouTube video. No, we've third. Holy shit. Okay. Is there any yeah. topics or anything you you would want to talk about that that you feel feel like we haven't talked about or anything like, or just you want to ask me or anything? Are you enjoying the game? Are you enjoying Diablo Four right now? Day right to day. now. Honestly, it's like it's, I put it at about heist gameplay tier like farming from like mm -hmm. once you get to like level 75 that between the 75 and the 100 it's like just doing heist which is mm -hmm. it's just completely mid i wouldn't say it's bad mm -hmm. i wouldn't say it's good just absolutely exceptionally mid mm -hmm. yeah but you're still quote unquote quote, motivated not excited but like motivated to log in and like complete your goals whatever they are level 100 yes. this boss this tier of dungeon this build completion or whatever like you're still working towards that and 100%. enjoying well, that process. i think i'd probably be enjoying the game more if um if i cared it didn't die to a fucking bug at level 92 after 170 yeah, hours I mean, of that's gameplay fucking, yeah that really sucks that that dc was like one of the worst like dcs i've seen in recent history like any like hardcore rips in any rpg that was just dog shit yeah i don't know what hurt more that rip or the rip i had a rip in fucking um the bear uh, uh, and poe Wait, no, you I'm... literally tapped out oh okay okay I thought no 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 and poe it was it it was, okay. I'm talking about the, uh, it was, I, I had a, got a uh, Doriani's in Solar Cell Found. I had a full up and running mm -hmm. Doriani's build and it could like face tank, Uber, XR. It could, it could basically trivialize three Ubers and, like easily. And I was mm -hmm. ready to pop off. And then this, I had what you described, no drop frames, nothing with OBS, nothing with Twitch. It was just the game connection yeah. server, had some shit to bed and then I lost my character. Yeah. I mean, any of those rips fucking suck. Like when you can't do anything, it's like, yeah. So wait, all that time. If, you, if you've got minimal love for group gameplay and, um, can we see a return of MP in, in SSFHC? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still I still enjoy Trade League, like, and I still want to play with my friends. And if there is anything that we can do in group, we, we will do that. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think for me, action ARPGs are the most fun when you're playing together with your friends and you are trying to work towards for some goal. Could be currency, it could be level 100, could be some you know delve push in delve or or like a high nightmare dungeon creator in, in diablo 4 or something like that and then min maxing your gameplay and your and your character around that concept is like the most enjoyable thing for me in in arpgs so as long as i can do that i will any of these games so min maxing and social you would even say the social aspect of just yeah like, i guess having yeah, friends yeah. right it's kind of weird yeah kind of yeah. wait for a game at it like you know want to interact with people and i mean people 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 
know me as like the group guy or whatever, but like I generally just play group play like first week of the league, maybe first week and a half. And then I do solo stuff for like a month or a month and a half or two months, some leagues. So it's like, I still have way more solo content than group content, like total. It's just most people only watch PoE yeah, or P league whatever, launch, right? Like yeah, that's it. League launch week. That's a league launch, bro. 100 percent. Yeah. Like that's what it is. Literally, that's what yeah. you ex you only exist during that launch window. Well, I mean, the first like two yeah. to three week period, and then after that, it's like everyone starts fucking dock leaving. So yeah, minimum. I, I can see that. Okay, next question for you. What what is your current goal in Diablo 4? I'm guessing level 100 on this character. Hitting the 100, and then I want to kill mm -hmm. the Lilith. But okay. so you're gonna have to grind up some. GG gear and GG build for the. Well, have Lilith you player? have you killed a Lilith yet? Only in two player. In two player, okay. I, do yeah. you think you could do it in solo. and solo? Do you think it's possible? I mean, I, it, you just gear out the Blizzard and then the build kind of does the boss for you. So like as long okay, as you without that build, phase two, like without that yeah. build, no, it would take like fifteen to twenty minutes of perfect gameplay on ice shards. I don't think I have that in me. I can I can phase the boss in like. The, the best solo try I've had in like a couple of tries was like 60%, but Fuck. that was before some changes. But anyway, like, uh, yeah, I don't I don't think I'm going to go for a solo, like no good build clear, like some funky build or, or whatever. Oh, I don't know. shit. What the fuck do you wait? Wait, what the fuck do you, do you think that uh, my prospects of killing you below the like, what do you think on hardcore? I mean, you're playing a druid, so it's fine. Also, hardcore, that just means you have to farm some potions. And then when you proc yeah. the TP out and you try again, like, that's fine. Like I don't know, though. You, as you... long as you pay attention to that, you're pretty safe. And it's pretty pretty much the same as softcore, except you have to farm those mats. And, it, and you have to pay attention to your death cooldowns. And you have to wait in between every try until your chi death potion is back up. And that's fine. And it's still a much bigger achievement killing it on hardcore because you have to get there to even attempt it. So uh, I think that's I think that's still cool. Mm. I, well, I'm thinking about doing this. What do you, what do you reckon about this strat? But I don't know if it's a good strat because I don't know. I've heard people saying it's kind of hard to find the mats and it's kind of shit. And I was thinking, well, if you can get to level 100 in like Is fucking it? 20 hours. Yeah, I don't know. If you're getting to 100, you're not going to have issue farming potion mats. I don't know. There's like unique mobs in the game that drop five, uh, like crush beast bones, five pale tongues, five, like all of the things that you need and you just farm that for like a few hours and then you got hours and hours and hours of attempts to go. Hmm. Mm, okay, so wait, maybe not doing it. Okay, well, I was thinking about doing a softcore character just to practice the boss, so that way I didn't have to do that. But then maybe, maybe, maybe I don't know. Too many, too many times. Too many, too many I mean, it'll just take you longer to practice on hardcore. But if you had a already ready softcore character that was just as good as your hardcore, of course it would be faster to practice on softcore. But getting another hundred or close to hundred character on softcore with all the glyphs and all that just to practice, I think is going to take way too long. Season one is going to come out sooner than that. <laughs> But the change changes, bro. I'm telling you, like, okay, okay. I'm talking unethical. I'm talking like, okay. Oh, you like, think you, you think nightmare dungeons are dead OP? I don't know. I need to look into like Dude. actually like leveling a new character with the new nightmare dungeons. I don't know. I think you can get I, to level. I've 50. heard XP is basically doubled or like 80 percent to 100 percent increase, which is good. But that's not gonna. I don't know. I don't think it's actually twice as much because the the town the town time doesn't change. You still have to go through all that loot, and especially if you're looking at like every slot it could be an upgrade. Then you're spending a lot of time looking at gear. I feel like it's more than uh more than double. I I I, I mean I, I, well okay. I mean as I haven't from, looked from... at any new like spreadsheet if someone did like some real testing. Oh, I don't know if like, they spreadsheet. Know, multi hour runs or whatever. Uh, I'm speaking as like well to be fair, I got druid. I, I my damage went up by about I don't know like sixty or seventy percent more damage. So I got like 60 with that patch and then the XP mm -hmm. got buffed and then there was also the teleportation So then it, with all, all those things yeah, combined the teleport is big of course, but you um, you're not comparing it to old nightmare dungeons What you should be comparing is the current most efficient way to XP. Oh, no, I'm comparing it versus dungeons. old so nightmare like, dungeons Obviously, yeah, 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 of course it's gonna be a much bigger buff if you're comparing it to like previous nightmare dungeons where you had to like run to it Yeah I mean, you should look into it, bro. I actually want, I actually want to know that information. If you made a video talking about the XP changes and stuff, I've did. No, uh, that's no. this good react on it, bro. Do it, bro. Log it. The yeah. spreadsheet, bust out the spreadsheet, boy. Listen, yeah. I'm on the hardcore journey now as well as you. Okay, I'm uh, playing hardcore bar. I'm like trying to get to you know whatever I can. So I don't know. I, I don't want to start another softcore character while I'm doing this hardcore thing. So. Okay, apparently Rob is zero to eighty-five in six hours right now. That's okay, more like than boosted halfway. by level hundreds or league start scenario. Like what the fuck? What, what boosted? What thing is? I would be getting boosted. I would be getting boosted, right? I, I would be getting boosted if I okay. was doing this. Yeah. I, okay. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, if you get if you get boosted by efficient people, you can probably set up a softcore character faster than I guess practicing on hardcore. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, well, I would be. It would just be like a. I'm. I don't. I don't care about yeah, getting boosted. Fine. If I was just for Travis, right? Like fucking against it. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I mean, the thing is, boosting doesn't take. 
much effort for the people boosting. All they, all they do is do whatever they are already doing, farming some of the most efficient dungeons, and then you just sit at the start. And then when they reset, you they leave party, you, you join All them game, or request on them, and then that's it. Then you're sitting there. Like it doesn't they don't have to babysit you or whatever. Like they can for later if you want some gear, you can like follow them around, I guess. But like for XP, you literally just sit at the start of the dungeon and you get all the XP that they're getting. So it's, it's not it's not that much effort. Just watch some uh, watch some YouTube videos, bro. Fucking uh, yeah, yeah. Right, there you go, bro. It's literal five way content in the game. Like you jump in the five way and then you watch YouTube videos <laughs> while you get XP boosted. Well, that's, that's what, what I what I see. Watch you do that five way shit, and that made me think like, <laughs> wow, POE group plays dog shit. Because I, I you was there like just sitting there and then you were like charging a fucking kinetic bolt or some shit. I don't know something yeah, was, was happening and then holding kinetic bolt for five minutes and killing 10,000 monsters I and had then six that, million kills like, boom, boom, in the week boom, boom, boom. one <laughs> yeah, it was so stupid yeah, bro it was I, I, pretty stupid but I it's don't been think a that game exist. for like four years so it's you know it's part of the game for better or worse for worse bro for worse for real yeah you gotta Straight you gotta level up. your glyphs of course you can't get I mean you can technically get your glyphs boosted you can sit at the start of a nightmare dungeon and then TP out when they finish because the ooh actually if your group members don't care about their glyph XP anymore you can literally just sit at the start of the dungeon because the end bubble spawns on the group leader so if you're the group leader if you make the group and then they pop a key the when they clear the dungeon the the thing will spawn on you and you can just level your glyph and go next <laughs> that is giga boosting hell yeah okay anyway, God. That, that I, fair. I don't, don't want to fuck up the boys that much bro. I'm leashing mm. I mean I gotta I gotta get the like you know the the bad end of the stick yeah. Yeah, okay, I like this. Right, we're, getting, we're getting the MP min max strats right now, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> Well, again, get the fucking giga boosting strats, boys. Who wants to do a giga boost in a bit here, boys? It takes an hour to get to 50 on Softcore. I'm and already 50. I, I, got, I, have a, I have a female mm -hmm. drug called Lizzo. That it slows down a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's she's fucking ready, boy. She's ready to get boosted. Dude, we were, we were doing split boosting with a, with a barb and a sork. And before they nerfed Ruins of Eridu, we could get people to 50 in 24 minutes. That was our best run. So we split run the two capstone dungeons. And then we give elixirs to people at like level five or whatever the earliest thing was. And then we split farm Eridu. And it took us to get people to 50 in, in 24 minutes. Wait, where do they <laughs> sit? They wait, do they, can they get XP from literally anywhere? Or what the fuck? Do, wait, do they? Yeah, wait, uh, XP is global per zone. So you oh. can, uh, yeah, like dungeons oh. are best because they have like the most mobs. And then there are dungeons where like you kill a spider and then fucking 15 more spiders spawn. It's a lot of fucking monsters. And then Jesus. elites are really good for XP and loot. I think it's like seven regular monsters for an elite like if you kill an elite it's like about the same as killing seven white mobs that might have changed that that's like weeks old data and of course they can tune that without announcing stuff like that but yeah so you see you have to tell right you could just kill a monster and then see much xp you get and kill the elite yeah i think that's a lot yeah. Certainly it's a lot. there's also a difference between white mobs like there's like these big knights you're fighting are probably better than like the miniature spiders in the caves or whatever but yeah fuck me yeah fuck um whoa nelly what the fuck i just got giga hit wait what dude the poison shit in this game is scary like now that i'm playing hardcore and i get hit and like half my bar is gone and but i though i still actually have more life than that but it's just poison and it's you're gonna lose it like over time i don't know it's scary like the the lowest oh. i've seen my hp bar is like 20 percent or 30 percent but it was just a poison and i actually had like 90 percent hp it's something about that display like freaks me out on the hard oh, bro, I've, that the display doesn't make any sense. What well, with, with when you have fortify, yeah. barrier, and poison, there's like yeah, you yeah, get like a bar yeah. and a bar and a bar, and you get this like four bars, <laughs> and it's it says you're at full life, but you're not at full life, and it doesn't make any sense. Shit. Oh yo, oh shit, we didn't get Imperium's taste on Kick.com. Oh my god, dude, the, 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 I didn't oh. think about that. Hey, okay, Kick.com, <sighs> brother. Okay, Kick. gambling com. bad. However, Twitch also has gambling sponsors so no one's better than you know no one has the well, who's, high who's better? just fucking get your Twitch bag wherever you want to and uh, i mean obviously i'll say twitch because i stream on twitch i like the twitch ecosystem i like the chat i like the the, the twitch culture whatever you want to call it i don't know but uh if i got offered a hundred million dollars you know, I I might uh, I might change my mind. I don't know. No, might no might. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What about? I mean, obviously, what I'm about... Not, obviously I'm not gonna get a hundred million dollar. No, 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 but... no, no. And hypothetical, let's do a hypothetical right now. So you just current thing, everything you got is that this is not. Where you don't need to like scale it. Like obviously based on my thing. No, don't worry about any of that shit. Okay. Okay. They offer you twenty million to stream thirty hours. 30 hours a week, non-exclusive, 20 mil. I think about it. I feel like Wait, the thing really? is, you just I'm, happy. I'm happy with where I'm at. I have a place, I can pay for food, I can order food every day if I want to. I can't afford an Exalcon trip, just on a whim, I guess, right now. But like, 
I think I can keep just grinding and doing my thing without like compromising. But Twenty million. What on, if, what, on stuff. What if like uh, you have some medical complications? Your parents, like your dad, like you know. Any, yeah, I, of course, of course. If anything like that would happen to my girlfriend oh, or yeah, myself but, or my family or anything, I would immediately take it. Yes. If oh, I, yeah, if not I even that though. Not even that. Way, what about just just secure but, the future, right? Just you're just talking about no, securing the future. No, just sec just like that. I don't think so. I mean, no, non exclusive listen. thirty hours. I am I am turning down like RMT sponsorships. I'm sure you're getting that. I hate RMT in these games, and and oh. I've gotten offers of, of of four digits, which of course is like nothing for you, but uh, four digit offers for putting a 10 second banner in my videos for an RMT site. Okay, mid mid four digit offer. Okay, no yeah. mention required, no shout out, no nothing. A 10 second pop up banner at some point in a video for a month, and and, and I'm not taking those. So I feel like if what I can if, if I can do that, I I, I wouldn't take like a what if the optics didn't matter? What if what if like no one thought you'd be like a shitty person for doing it? What if it was like okay? But I mean that also just... comes with it, right? Like you, you're yeah. a part of your you would lose a part of your audience because you. As I'm saying, you, like, you, I'm you saying went for those sponsorships, part. right? Would you do it? Would they, yeah. would you still not do it just because of the principle, or is it like a combination of optics and principle? It's probably a combination, but I feel like I just wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't like it myself to like have to go there. I feel like right now streaming doesn't feel like work of course it is you put in time and you put in work or whatever but it doesn't feel like going to work like you Wait, know to work any normal job it, it, it feels like a job streaming doesn't youtube editing does oh, but i have wait, I'll, I'll wait, wait, wait 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 what is streaming a fucking job like a real job is streaming a what? real job is streaming on twitch as a broadcaster a real what job? does what does it what does it mean a real job what do you, what do you, you get what money you, 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 you put in time and you get paid and you can pay the bills with it and buy food. Yeah, it's a job. It's, it's a job effort? in the entertainment industry as much as stand-up comedy or being a stripper or entertaining people as a clown, like a literal True. clown in kids' parties. These are all w. jobs, right, in the entertainment industry. Don't you think so? Don't you yeah, agree? Yeah, no, okay, would you say it's a hard job then? No, I think so. I agree. Totally agree. Totally agree. No, I don't think it's a hard job. <laughs> Oh, shit. doesn't mean that every person could do it successfully, but I don't think it's a hard job compared to any, literally any manual labor, any no. customer facing service have job, you, have you any done, of have those you done jobs are. Have you done manual labor? What? Have you done, have you done manual labor? Minimum, minimal amount, yes. Yeah. Wait, so you're saying it's harder to literally like stock some shelves for six hours a day than it is to stream six hours a day? <sighs> It's, it, dep it depends on how you define harder. What, does, what do you mean by well, harder? So I, I'm saying overall, like globally, everything, like mental, physical, whatever the fuck, everything combined, like with each one has Physically, individual Physically, it's weightings. harder. Mentally, it's easier. Of course, yeah, okay, if you're like okay. a big streamer yeah, I mean, and you I get into controversy it. as you and, and you get a bunch of negative feedback, that's mentally more taxing than but, stocking but, shelves and then your and your manager going, yo, you stock that shelves badly, stock it better. Like, yeah, of course, physically it's harder to do any of that manual labor, but no, but, but I'm talking about overall. Though, I'm talking about a combination. A... You have to wait everything. You got to wait everything overall globally in a macro scale. Like, what's hard? <laughs> Not phys don't you can't specify which one is which is it harder to be a streamer or harder to be a person who stocks shelves. I don't know. I don't think it's that binary. I can't. I can't give you these binary answers. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> bro. There's fucking streamers on the regular having mental breakdowns and like fucking PTSD. Yeah, like all sorts it's, of. It's it's mentally hard, especially if you try to build your brand on fucking drama. I've tried to avoid that, and the only drama I've been in is life isn't fair, which is a statement that I still agree with to this day. So like. <laughs> I don't know, and that lasted Wait, like three days, and then people forget about it, right? And you walk, you walked that like, back a little bit. Hard. You, you did walk that back a little bit, right? Like it was like you. Wait, did you I mean, I like said a, it at the wrong time in a, in in the wrong way or whatever, but the statement itself is true. I it think, base, still it's true. base, bro. Yeah. I wouldn't walk that back at all, bro. I would have been like, I would have just yeah, been yeah. like, fuck you. Of course, love doesn't fear you, dumb cunts. I would, I would have like. <laughs> Like straight up. No, but okay. Wait, no, no. I would say like, for example, I had a, I had a job where I was pushing trolleys all day, right? Um, mm -hmm. pushing, yeah, I, just... I was stocking. I was literally stocking like a or filling orders for like a pharmaceutical company and like a pharmaceutical like warehouse plant. Yeah, like, filling orders for pharmacies or whatever. Like going to the shelf, getting the thing, trolling the thing. Like I did that for like a whole summer. Now, and I would and say, it was boring yeah. as fuck, and it was not challenging, right? Like you just put the thing that's on the paper, and then you yeah, go to the correct row, and being, you put the thing, and it's like a job being you boring just listen is hard. To music and whatever. A yeah. job being boring is hard though, right? Like it can be hard. But the question is, yeah. what can be harder though? Like the fucking the fact that you you know over time things streaming, you like you know you fucking start your knees start hurting, your, your hips start hurting, your fucking uh. I mean you that's know, on you. You triggered. have to take care of your 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 body and your mind as much as possible. You you only have. One 
one of you. You can't replace, you know, yeah, your I brain. Agree. So I like, agree. I think mental health is like number one. That's how I. Th this is why so I have means, what we talked about earlier. Really mental, like, yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. So that means but, you're saying streams really hard. But if you are, if if you can make your own hours and you take a day off anytime you want for mental or physical reasons and you don't stream games that you don't like, then you will you'll never feel like you're working. At least that's how I feel. After wait, can you listen, go, can, I've been wait. I've been streaming for eight years and it still doesn't feel like work. Okay. Wait, wait, I am wait, 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 excited wait, wait, to press wait. the start streaming button and just play the game that I would be playing anyway. And then people can watch and chat or whatever. Wait, you're telling um, me can you, and I don't can you take force myself to stream something that I don't want. Wait, there be that. Can you take can you take like two weeks off and just not have like a mental breakdown? Can you can you just take two weeks off wait, and be why like why would I take a mental breakdown for taking a no, oh, can, yeah, I'm what? saying can you can you can you like yeah, yeah, take of course. Two weeks off. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. Are you, what the f you, you, you made I mean, maybe I'd be bored it. after like a week and, and then I would want to do something, but then I would just go and do something. I would like spend more time with my loved ones and go out and watch movies or go on hikes or travel, you know, go go to a wellness hotel for a weekend or whatever. I don't know. Like, do you, are you what? that like addicted to streaming that well, you no, no, like it's like go if you're... crazy if you didn't? Or if it's like one of those things where if you if I'm not streaming and I could be streaming, then I'm thinking, well, I could be streaming right now, but I'm not streaming, mm -hmm. right? That's like a thought. Yeah, a I had that. Thought. I had that feeling. I I had a hard time taking days off early because I was like, well, I could just be I could just be streaming, right? I could just be playing. It's not that hard. But then I kind of force myself to take days off sometimes to like because that's normal. You should hey, can you turn you your brain take off? Some time off, whatever can work you're doing. I think it's it's okay to take some time off. How do you turn your brain off? How do you turn your brain off? Like, how do you not sit there going, I could I be take, I could be streaming right now, like, and you know, you just I do mean, it. you either you either plan for it ahead of time or something comes up that makes you do it, right? Like, if if there is something that comes up with your kids, I'm sure you're gonna take a day off and take care of them, right? Like, or or if some family member needs some help or is in town that otherwise you couldn't meet, then you take a day off. Like that's what happened today. I, I was gonna stream today and just continue my hardcore thing. But my dad texted me that he's in town. And so we went out and eat and I went to the store, picked up some other stuff like groceries or whatever that we needed. And then I'll stream tomorrow, it's fine. And now I'm mm. here chatting with you for, you know, mm. way more people than I could have streamed to otherwise. But I mean, that was kind of random. Oh, you do. Oh, to be fair, I mean, it's, it's been a good conversation overall. I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I, I, your time. mental is insane. Because you got to understand, the overwhelming majority of people I talk to cannot, are incapable of setting it off. Just like I, my brain mm. is like, if I'm not streaming and I could be streaming, I'm just constantly thinking, mm -hmm. I could be streaming right now. I could be streaming right now. What am I doing? Could we just... So the only time I yeah. can actually justify taking time off. I used to have that. I'm I used to have that. Like, like a couple of years ago, I used to have that. And I would, and then I would like either work on like a YouTube video. So at least I'm doing something for like next day or next stream. But then now I'm not editing my own video. So now I don't have that. So if I, now I take a day off, I actually just take a day off and, and, and chill and focus on other stuff or like, you know, do stuff that is is enjoyable otherwise uh, other than playing games you know or play a game off stream like we play some games with the rock sometimes yeah i mean playing a game off stream too fair i do most things on stream now but no yeah. i do i want with the culture 2.0 i want to I'm basically making a culture 2.0 which i want to have like as a land area and i want to buy like a land have, setup like, yeah like, have hell an ironic yeah. warcraft 3 land party no stream just fucking game hell yeah that was my first land party as well like warcraft 3 like yeah, Base. Amachi days, like land and <laughs> yo, Amachi oh log. He knows what's up, brother. I mean, Hamachi wasn't landing though. Hamachi was like it was a local area like that, that was, was to simulate land. Yeah, yeah but yeah, you, yeah. I mean, if you were on a land party, you didn't need Hamachi. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was some fucking good ass shit, bro. God, Warcraft Three soundtrack is still still legendary. That game in general, man, old, old Blizzard, old Blizzard, yeah. bro. Shit. Do you think every game that comes out is gonna be like fucking dog shit, bro? You know, or do you have hope for gaming in the future? Then they're all gonna be like RMT fucking store bullshit. Battle I mean, pass. I'm hoping that the RMT doesn't make it into like every game. It would be nice to have a, but I don't know. The problem is there's already sites like JSP or where people like build up wealth in other games and then they just transfer it to any new game that has an economy. That's like already happening with this game and it sucks. Like I have, I've tried to buy some items for my Sork, like min maxing, and I'm I'm losing. I was like losing out on on bids because people have like hundreds of millions of gold that they just basically RMT from other games and uh, and you know the wait, that's a thing? seasons yet wait, or anything. You can buy an item yeah. wait how do you buy it wait you buy what you tell me every this is rare economy. item is tradable in this game people still don't know this after like a month i do i know every that is tradable but i know and i just it, don't know how you trade someone because how do you even meet a player let alone you, trade with them it is really bad it is way worse than poe trading and people have been complaining about poe trading trading for years you have to add people to your friend list and then you have to invite them to a group and then you have to travel to them and then you have to open a trade window and then you put in the thing 
But wait, how do you find out about the item? How do you know where the item is? Like, I don't get it. Where are you there finding out? There are trade sites where people can manually list stuff. Uh, I think Tradery is one of them. I have not used that, but I've seen it thrown around. And there is Discord. It's kind of like TFT, but uh, for Diablo 4, it's called uh, Sanctuary. It's it's the biggest Diablo 4 Discord, or Diablo Discord. It has, like, hundreds of thousands of members, like 300k members. People sell, like, all sorts of, like, boosting services there, like leveling boost. Wait, or real money or just Selling gold? items. No, gold. In-game gold. All gold. Yeah. Oh, badass. Okay. But, of course, they never look at how you acquired that gold, so... <laughs> I, how do you even buy gold? I mean, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, we probably shouldn't go into how to buy gold. Actually, yeah, trade it to people. Yo, holy fuck! I didn't even know that. Wait, have you bought? Have you successfully purchased any items like up another player for gold? Yeah, I bought. I bought a ring for like eight million gold at some point. It was not like a beast, but it was pretty good. Eight like, million? Yo, like, what the fuck? Yo, yeah. fuck SSF. I'm that was a, that was a crit, crit, crit Vaughn ring with a rollable fourth mod. Just not high rolls and everything. Holy. That was a snipe though. I'm pretty sure that ring was more worth like 30, 40, but. That that was that was like three weeks ago or two two and a half weeks ago. Wait, am I an idiot if I'm fucking sitting there rolling? I spent I spent like uh, seventy million gold just rolling for like a, a good item. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't even it wasn't even like perfect. You you're, especially SSF. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna try to min max one item. I mean, especially if it has three already good rolls, then you're gonna try to get the fourth really good one, right? No, I might not be SSF soon. If I can actually trade, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> Fucking good so, it someone in my chat actually spent, uh, like, rolled his wand until it took him uh, 27 million gold for one roll. So he spent, like, hundreds yeah, of millions you. on, on yeah, the wand. You. But, I mean, it was a GG wand, right? Like, the three other rolls were, like, perfect roll or, or like, half percent of perfect. Hey. The thing, but yeah, you made like 27 million gold a roll is like, that's like two hours of farming or two and a half hours of like efficient farming for gold. And then just one roll. I never, yeah, I never <laughs> really thought of some dog yeah. shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucked. Oh yeah. shit, did you know that when you reroll an item and you pick some other stat, the next reroll cost is going to be more expensive. If you pick no change, the next reroll cost is going to be not more expensive than if you pick something else. So that's did still you know random. That? The game doesn't tell you this. I didn't notice that what? at all. I, yeah, I, did, yeah, I literally just, just don't pick random shit if you don't care about the random shit just pick no change because you're like cucking yourself if you're a is this yeah. significant or is it just I, I a learned this like week two it was like way too late to learn <laughs> i'm learning it right now goal, I, I, I always change to yeah. like the best possible thing i'm rolling as i'm rolling right? yeah so i mean if, if you're actually incrementally improving it like if it's better yeah. then of course pick the better thing but if, if it's two dog shit rolls just pick no change because otherwise you're making it more expensive for the next row. well yeah. it's not even just the next roll. Uh... it's all next roll so if you, you yeah. so yeah. really you don't it's want to it would make it... or whatever yeah. yeah it's gonna stack and then be way more what the fuck yeah, Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. Okay, well, I don't know that, bro. Well, that's good good information right there. So I can... Yo, what other good information is there, MP, for D4 that we, we should well, know? Well, I have a tips and tricks video out on YouTube. Maybe oh, you should shit. watch that. I, maybe I should. <laughs> Honestly, I probably will. Bro. No, I do have. I do have. But I think you know most of it. It's like, you know, the mount goes faster if you move the, or if you move the mouse further away or, or whatever. Like the yeah. B-roll stuff or... Uh... Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's more like specific. Like how the damage things. calculation works. I'm sure you know that one. What uh, else? yeah. Well, I know like vulnerable crit damage, and then all the rest is one. Fun. But it's nothing else, right? I'm crazy. Oh, yeah. No, look, I know how to math chat. Shut the fuck up, pussy. Right click glyph to distribute XP. But instantly. Huh? Wait, yo, new trick apparently unlocked just now from Twitch chat. Apparently, you can right click the glyph, get XP instantly. Wait, what the fuck? Fucking logging in right now to test that shit out. What the fuck? All right, is that all? You got anything else? Uh, no, no, no. To be fair, you honestly all around MP based, based as fuck, and um, you know, okay, good, you know, solid uh, fucking tanks good. all around, like good, 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 good info. Yeah, I, I don't know why I had you muted on Twitter, bro, and I don't know what the fuck. You just, I remember it was some bullshit in the past. Hey, I, I forgive you. You've been all forgiven. Right. Sure. For being based. You've, you've, you've redeemed yourself. You've done the redemption act, dude. Okay, you've been on there. Sounds good, man. Wait, is Zizarin saying something? Right. Wait, what's Zizarin saying? Wait, 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 before you go. Is Zizarin saying something? What's he saying? 15 children, a trolley hitting. No, we've already done the dog question, Zed. Stop talking about dog dicks. Okay, Zez? Jesus yeah, Christ. I think we're good with the dog dicks. Oh, my God. All right, well, yeah. listen. Good luck on your 99, and then hopefully 100, and then Lilith, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's 100%, uh, that's a bro. One. It's a really cool boss. Really well-designed boss. Unironically, like, no cap. Or whatever on a stack, it's it's a good boss. You you have fun learning it, I think. Especially Ooh. phase two. <laughs> good luck with phase two. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All Cheer. right, have a nice day, dude. Thank you, MP. Thanks. See for, you later. Uh, thanks for the invite. Yeah. Peace. Because he is. God game. Game. God game. God. 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 God game.